Afternoon. Morning. Evening. Time of day. Boa sorte. Boa tarde. Boa noite. Bon dia. That one works as well. You guys are never going to believe it. We're playing Skyrim today. We're going back to the Endless Dungeon. We are starting from scratch, but I have changed a couple of the rules to make it a little bit less, you know, grindy. As much fun as it was the first time, it was a little... It was a little too much going through the repeat stuff, so we've made a few changes. Main window? What is, what is bain, bain? Am I saying that right? Bain? Vindo. Vindo. Vindo? I, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. I had to study it to graduate. Main window means welcome. Today I learned. Okay, time to study. Who was it that tweeted at me? Somebody, somebody did a, did a, did a tweet at me. They said, what did they say? They said, can you go live? I need to hang out parasocially so I get my language homework done. So I quoted it and I just said, okay, in like 30 minutes, I promise. Uh, I actually was live 29 minutes. After that, so I made it. Um, but if you remember, the last time we did the Endless Dungeon, we were doing it permadeath, and I died quite a few times. Now, I don't really want to go through the beginning again, but we are going to go through the beginning again. We are starting fresh, but I have changed a couple of the rules. We're not doing permadeath. Instead, we're going to uh, we're going to we're going to use a checkpoint system exclamation point rules. I put the patch notes in there, the patch notes to the uh, to the rules that we're going to change. But what we're going to do this time sir. instead. Missed the birth of our stream, baby. Hope you've been feeding them. It's not my job to take care of them. You guys got to stop giving me so much responsibility. I'm not responsible. Uh, so we've changed the rules a little bit instead of permadeath like last time. If you are familiar with kind of what we've been doing here, then this will make sense. If not, it might not make all that much sense, but it will once we get into it. Your first half Swiss, baby. Half Swiss? Like the cheese? Is Swiss cheese from Sweden? What's the origin of Swiss? It's got to be, right? From like the Swiss Alps, don't they have a lot of goats up there? Is Swiss cheese made from goat milk? Swiss cheese is from Switzerland? Wait, really? <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. Wow! Switzerland, Leave me my alone, man. okay? All right, I've told you all. I'm not a geography expert, okay? Man. Thank you, kind sir. Average American view. Okay, well, back. if you can tell me some obscure fact about Louisiana... Until that point, I don't need to know all of European geography, okay? Thank you, kind sir. Anyway, before, be, let's just move on before I start getting bullied. Here are the patch notes and how we've changed up the rules a little bit. So we're going to go through the exact same dungeon crawl as before. Uh, except this time we're going to use inns and vendors as checkpoints. So when we get to an inn or a vendor and we sleep, that'll be a checkpoint. We can stop there. If we die along the run, we will respawn at the last checkpoint that we slept Thank in. Thank you, kind sir. So it's going to send us back. However, when it does send us back, and this is all going to be consistent, at least for the most part. It depends on how we are able to sleep. You know, some of the safe zones we might not actually be able to sleep at. We'll figure that out as we go. Maybe there's a console command I can use to make a bed sleepable in someone's house if we have to, because I know that there's a spot where we can stop and have like it could be an alchemist. Started, but may I go to the loo? Mm. Uh, you're gonna have to wait. You're you, you're you're gonna have to wait until the presentation is over. Also, oh, you said may. I was gonna say I don't know. Can you? But no. Last stream. You both called Mage Light and Clairvoyance the worst spell. What is the actual worst spell? I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What 
Conjo shitty dance moves. That's the worst spell in the game. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Fatal Fruit Loop. Very kind of you. I appreciate it. Thank you for gifting five to the channel. Thank you, kind sir. Two months, let's go. So I downloaded a mod the other day that will... Essentially what the mod does is it changes, and this is actually kind of cool. I'm very proud of myself. Thank All right, you, so I downloaded sir. a mod off the Nexus, and what this mod does is it changes the respawn time of every dungeon to 72 hours. However, me and my all-knowing wisdom, I Thank used you, SSE God, edit or X edit, whatever you call it, whatever you call that program, and I changed I changed it on my own. I did a mod. I did a, I uh, I did a thing, not to be a little quirky. I did a I, 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 I may I may have done a little thing. So I changed it from 72 hours to 8 hours. So every time we die, the game will send us back to our previous safe zone. We will lose 90% of our gold or maybe 80%. I, I think it might be 80. Shot. That's a typo. All of my items get wiped away. All progress towards my next skill level gets wiped away, but I get to keep any perk potions I may have bought. Thank you. I also get to keep my current character level. Jeez. I can't believe I'm catching a stream. So it's actually a little bit closer. Instead of a roguelike now, it's a little bit closer to a souls-like. In just in terms of the way that the content will be pushed through. So like we won't lose spells if I find any spells. How did DDM manage to code that? These are just extra mods okay, that I've added on top of. Oh my, it's time. Joe Avelius is have. finally here. This wasn't a DDM thing. Yes, B, it's, it's changing into a Souls-like now. <laughs> it's so wild. You change a couple of rules, and all of a sudden, you have a new like. Uh, but then the rest of it should stay roughly the same. So it'll be the same dungeon order. We're going to start from scratch Thank all over you, again. We will be sir. keeping track of our deaths. We playing Dark Souls now? Pretty Sweet. much. Pretty much. Uh, let me catch up. Uh, B, good to see you. How are you? Thank you for two months. Good to see you. It's been wonderful having you on the team. Chuggy? Is that how you say that? Thank you for 100 bits. Spur Dark Souls. Thank you for the Prime. K23, thank you for the 100 bits. War Maiden. Thank you very much for five months. The Lady Ironborn, thank you for the tier one. Vernal Path, thank you for the tier one. Coronier, thank you for seven months. Mule Ganda, thank you for two months. And now, I'm mostly caught up. Also, Queen Remy, you may go to the loo now. Brayden Baino, thank you for gifting one. Mr. Nick, thank you for the prime. V. Collier, thank you for ten months. Derrico, thank you for eleven months. Winged Nacho, thank you for nine months. And for making me look like an idiot, thank you for making me look geographically illiterate. Swiss is Switzerland. I knew that. I knew that. Okay, I was actually testing you all. It was a, it was a prank. It was an elaborate scheme. Give me two Thank seconds here. Time, We're going to get into it a lot quicker today than we have previously. My Photoshop editor wants to yell at me. Would you like to save the current document? Just assume yes. Worth every septum. Can't wait for some gamba. Oh, you guys are going to be able to gamble today. Yeah, we'll, we'll be gambling. Solas is bald. Thank you for the prime. Apologies for the hair. Braden Baino, thank, thank you for the 200 time, bits. Sir. And I'm caught up on this Hello, one. Hello, everyone. I was hoping for a stream today. Watching while asleep. Thank you for the 22 months. That is a while. Thank you, kind sir. Killer Banjos, appreciate you. Thank you very much for six months. Shorty Patrick, thank, thank you for the prime. Thanks, Good sir. to see you all. Appreciate everybody. Glad to see Permadeath was eliminated for this run. You know what? It made a very compelling first day. And in terms of Permadeath, what was really fun for me was those moments of thank we're starting time, fresh. Sir. Yeah, it's a grind. Yeah, we're going through the same dungeons over and over. But those moments of making that next run a little bit more efficient and a little bit better and understanding every crevice of those first few dungeons. Juve. It was a, it was kind of satisfying, but also, uh, you know, too grindy. The, the actual balance you, wasn't Kong, there, sir. which is fun. Ding. Or rather it's not fun. What's fun about it 
is kind of, I feel like together, right? We're taking a game that's been around for a really, really long time. We're changing the mechanics of it. We're kind of making our own game mode together. But I think this is a really good example of how fucking hard like balancing a game is. You can have so much just stuff going on that all needs to be taken into account. So many different variables, so many different obstacles. I think it really kind of speaks to just how important like level design is. Like when you design the levels within a game, they have to, you know, there's a rule set that fits best with those levels. And it's just kind of interesting to change the formula and see how we can make the game play in a different way. I think, I think it's an interesting challenge, right? There, there's like a technical side of this that I think is kind of interesting. And when we do the final video project for this one, could be fun to dive into and talk about a little bit. You know, what did it play like when we did it permadeath? Was it too grindy? What were the encounters like? Was the progression satisfying? Was it a little bit too quick? It felt like a little, it felt a little bit too... The, the progression in terms of the perk potions felt a little bit too strong, felt like a little bit too much. It didn't play perfectly. It didn't all, it didn't vibe perfectly. It's fun in concept, but does it actually work when you start to play it? That kind of stuff I think is really interesting. And it's like we're, we've entered this arc of the last few projects we've done, right? We did uh, one inventory slot, which we're working on now. That's like a huge change to sort of how you have to play and think about the game and change your strategies up. This is obviously a different way of interpreting those game rules. Oh, it's been fun. How did you get such a nice beard? Uh, the first bit of advice I would give if you would like to do, if you would like to grow a beard. Also, hi, Spiff. Wait, where's, oh, there's Spiff. Spiff, there you are. Good to see you. How was the first day? Hit or miss. You know, we got to try some of these things out. Uh, if you want, if you want to grow a beard, let it grow out. And maybe get a little ugly, maybe, maybe like let it be a bit unkempt, but then go to a barber and have a barber take care of you. They can teach you a few things. You can if, if you like you have conversations with your barber and you're actually kind of curious, you can you can learn quite a lot. My Cameron Young's brother. I do not know who that is. Are they famous? Are they hot? Are they a handsome young, young lad? All right, friends, let's do this. Let's jump back in. No more permadeath. It's off the table. Sir. We have gone from roguelike to souls like in a matter of like two or three game changing uh, rules. We'll see how it plays out. Not really sure how it's going to go, but that's part of the fun of it. If we run into any severe bugs, I'm going to remember to have fun with them today, not to let them stress me out too much because the playtesting, we got to have fun with it. Starting from scratch. Uh, Jackie Cola, thank you for the prime. Attica, Attico Dispenser. Thank you for the tier one. Nerps, good to see you. 26 months. Nerps, that is a long time. Thank you for hanging out for so long. Mrs. McKiller, thank you for half a year. Cusetto, thank you for the prime. Thank you for two months. Shorty Pipatrick, we're all caught up. Shorty Pipatrick, you got two shoutouts. Double the value. We're right back at the beginning. Oh, another change that I made. We're going completely nude. We're starting completely naked butt naked we're letting it all hang out we're letting our dwemer bits let's ride are we wait hold on this feels weird i don't know something just feels off is it my field of view Ah, field of view is fine punching looks good feels good I have my favorites and everything set up, so we don't need to, like, mess with the rules too much. We've got that first wolf in the first room. And you know what? I'm going to start this run confidently. I don't need flames to take out the first wolf. I'm just going to punch him. Is 
Thank you. My game crashed. <laughs> <laughs> My game immediately crashed. That was quick. That might be record pace. Wait, we're not even. What's our time at? Hold on. I can't pause the uh, speed run timer right now. We're not even at a minute. <laughs> we're at. Which is weird. We've crashed in this dungeon two times now. Bone Chill Passage has crashed twice now for us, but we haven't had a crash anywhere else. There we go. I was able to pause the timer. All right. Not even a minute. We got 45 seconds in and we crashed. You are required to use spells to kill the wolf. Maybe that's why it crashed. Thank you, kind sir. I believe in you. Crash or no crash. Thank you, Shannon. Okay, maybe we just need to... Okay, we need to reassess the situation. Thank fix the posture. Sir. Ah! I'm being attacked! I didn't realize that would be my checkpoint. Uh, this doesn't count. This does not count if I lose. I'm not gonna... I got rock joint. Oh, man. All right, you know what? Fine. I'm not afraid of a little disease. I'm not scared of rock joint. Bring the timer back. Timer is back. Everybody relax. Thank you, kind sir. Damn it already. I have been lurking for a while, huh? Narashi, thank you very much for eight months. Okay, for armor. Now we have to at least get to the first safe zone before I'm willing to even give myself a checkpoint. If I die, we just start from the beginning all over again. We'll go iron gauntlets. I am absolutely not gonna fight this first wolf. We go same strategy as we did the last time. Damn, I've already like lost some of my sauce in terms of moving through this quickly. But we know what to do. We go stamina pot on the ground here. Where? Oh, there it is. Hit the ledge. Go. I can outrun you. I think it goes brittle shin, then a short hallway, and then it's bleak falls. We got to at least get through bleak falls before I consider this the actual run where we get checkpoints. Don't kill me. Ooh. <laughs> you killed yourself. I'm learning how to beat the petty soul gem in combat. Why are the skeletons so quick? Okay, let's not let him get confident. Let's go with the right hook. Already hungry. We've got a disease. Maybe we go sword and board. I really haven't played sword and board much. But like, it does feel good. You know, when you just swipe their head right off. Somebody asked earlier about the first person animations I use. It's comprehensive first person animation overhaul. That in combo with immersive sound compendium. I've always been a fan of those two together along with precision. Now, first room, voice of the emperor we have to use. Some of the strategies in these first few rooms aren't changing. I hate it. Thank you, kind sir. Oh my god. Okay, he almost got me. Don't let me lose the first fight. Nice little Thank potion you, find. Sir. Gold necklace, we love a necklace. Can we real quick? He has a filled soul gem. Ooh, man. See, it'd be so nice. <clears throat> I'm, I, I'm going to risk it here. Because we want to have as many sold filled gems as we can get. They're going to add up over time. Nice. Nice. Okay, L for one. Let's get our sword. Let's get our board favorited.
and then proceed to not use them. Consumes all magicka and summons an undying ghost for 60 seconds. The ghost attributes are equal to twice the amount of magicka consumed up to 600. That's pretty good. Although I don't know if I want to burn all my magicka in one fight. But that's a really good drop early on. Here we go. Blake falls once again. Oh, wait, no. Bronze water. Away, demon. No, I know I didn't get the, uh... I didn't get the soul gem. That suck. That suck. Ooh, hey, you know what? We'll make up for it. It always comes back around. I'm not supremely confident in my ability to take on this first fight with sword and board, but I'm going to give it a try. Maybe a little bit of sneak. Now, nah, see, they already catch me. Lock picks. Uh, you know what? Actually, he's not going with a two-hander. Excuse me. Uh-uh. No. That was closer than I would have liked. I think I blocked that arrow, though. Now, we could sleep here, but I think... Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of how we should do it for the rules. If we're in the middle of a dungeon, I think I can sleep in order to level up. If I only sleep for an hour, that won't lock it in as our safe point. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Did you know every child in Riften is an orphan? Are they? I guess I haven't thought of that. I'm gonna assume... Was it, did any Austin just do an unemployment census check in Riften? I'm gonna assume you got that little fun fact from an any Austin video. Fantastic channel, if you've never watched their stuff. I gotta catch up on the unemployment lore though, but I, wa I wanna say the most recent one they just uploaded maybe yesterday. It was on my front page, I think it was Riften. Oh, was it Mark Carthy did? Looking handsome today? You're looking handsome. I'm not looking handsome. You are. I'm going to start getting good at that, by the way. Juggling any of my loot. That's a new skill I'm looking forward to adding to my repertoire. It's useless, but I want to get good at it. I know I'm tired. You know what I can't wait to stop getting on this thing? Are those little updates. I'm going to ignore this fight. It's not worth it. I do want to try and collect as much XP as I can. Just don't let me die. I, I really can't go through Bleak Falls Barrow anymore. Ah, see, not good enough. No. 
We still have a disease. We don't want another one. No attacks yet for me. Come on. Thank you, kind sir. Two month pockets. Two months. Thank you. Ooh. Nope. I'm not playing with it. Zero risk run. Completely clean playthrough. Joe says, thank you for two months. Is there any more loot in here that I may have missed? Doesn't look like it. Uh, but we do. I'm okay with burning our scroll of fireball in this room. Come on down. The itsy bitsy spider climbed down the dragger shaft. Uh, down comes the rain. And down comes the flames and wash the spider out. Ah! No, 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 don't let me die. I was singing you a nice little tune. And the itsy bitsy spider. Holy fucking shit. Oh, we caught it. We caught it at the last second. Thank you, kind sir. This close to dying. It's still draining. Whew. Okay, let me take a breather. I'm gonna sit back here and just hang out for a sec. Chad, how are you all? How was everybody today? I'm having a good day. I don't know about y'all. I'm feeling good. Arbel is screaming. He's being tortured by the spider. Nothing makes me feel better than hearing that man wail in pain. And fear. Honestly, the fear of his screams, it's like seasoning. You know, his pain is just... It's like unseasoned chicken. Thank you, Kyle. Well, you get that little, little bit of paprika. Salt, pepper. Maybe some garlic. Mmm. His pain is basted in the, in the flavor of his screams. Now, okay, we don't really have any emergency potions. Come on. Thank you, kind sir. Anybody see that new Star Wars trailer today? I don't really know 100% what to think because I haven't been too enthusiastic about most of their projects recently, except for Andor. But I did see Carrie Ann Moss, which reminded me of how cool the Matrix is. So, uh, I'm kind of in on this project. I think, uh, is it Song Gi Hoon? Is that the actor's name who was in Squid Game? I think he's in it as well. That's why I had to do the. Isn't that, isn't that the Matrix when he. Doesn't he do that? That's neat. I know that's Neo. Thank you, kind sir. Juve, nice to catch you on my lunch break. Nice to catch you on my uh, gaming time. Good to see you. Thank you for two months. Zenith Aries. Don't leave me for I haven't been paying attention to Star Wars or Marvel, Marvel lately, TBH. I've never actually uh, been into Marvel. Come here. Oh my god, I'm actually going to lose Arvel. Yeah, he's too quick. You know what? Go. Go right on ahead. I don't know why I've never used him to my own advantage. What the? Where the? Where do you get off? Where do you get this confidence? It's like as soon as I turned around, he knew. He could sense it. He heard me talking shit. He overheard it in the other room. It echoed down the hallway. I've never actually used Arvel for my own means. The hell did you just say to me? Did you? We should do a run where we try to create, keep Arvel alive throughout. Okay, I'll make a bet with you. If I die before I get out of Bleak Falls Barrow and reach the safe zone, then we'll do a really stupid challenge. Just a little side objective. We'll try to keep Arvel alive throughout the whole dungeon. I 
I don't know if it would be possible, though, because my DPS won't be high enough coming into this room. Thank you, kind sir. We've got three in here. Let's hit him with the slingshot. The old razzle-dazzle. One thing about the Draugr that I've learned continually, that two-handed weapon has way more range than the average bandit. Like, their attack window and their combos... Uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm not fast enough. I'm not fast enough! Ugh! Can I get my stamina back, please? Which way? Okay, he's going left. I just need a little bit of sprint. I hit the wrong button. I was trying to hit the song and have something crescendo as he got launched. Mistimed it. You know what, I'm gonna take my sweet ass time in here. Hunting bow's not bad, but we'll go with that ancient Nord when we get it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna skip this one. He's a tier two Draugr. I don't really wanna mess with it right now. We go with the same strat in this room. I think one's an archer. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, that axe actually blocked the arrow. We'll let them get themselves killed. Two-hander, so we gotta have him stumble. We can't take that hit. The rock joint is really nerfing my damage. Okay, I think they all pushed through. Oh, yeah. Now we deactivated. This is where we get a little bit meta, okay? Because they're going to push now up this hallway. Come on. Some pep in your step. I'm going to stock up on their arrows. I think I do want to make this a Dildaro's run. I've been talking about Dildaros, I've been hyping it up, I've been so excited to make Dildaros a part of this challenge, but with permadeath, it just was too much of a liability to actually have a Dildaros build. I'm gonna go for it. There is a bug right now with the perk potions mod. I'm not sure if you noticed before, but that almost got me. Uh, the amount of potions that the vendors are carrying, they are carrying too many. So we want to get that nerfed. We want the vendors to be carrying about, I think, five potions. But then you can buy the potion of... It's not potion of potions. I forgot what potion it is that buffs them. Because uh, that potion would be worth it if you were going from five to six. All right, since we didn't speed... Eight gold. I'm just gonna... Oh, crap. I was too slow. Alright. Uh, I don't have a lot of stamina. I should not get into melee. Did he run back into that room? What's going on? You know, it's weird. You take away the stress and fear of having to do this dungeon 10 more times on this stream. All of a sudden, I feel good. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, first person. Why? No, <laughs> why? This does not need to be an immersive animation. I'm going to get motion sickness. Uh, Panther, thank you so much for 21 months. Spellbook, thank you for the prime. Appreciate y'all very much. How's everybody's week going? What is, what is today? Today's Wednesday? How's Wednesday? Hump day. Let's save Fireball until the boss fight. 
No shame. Not a stealth archer. No shame in it. See, I'm I'm caught. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. Who is that? Who's being kind? Heck yeah, it's hump day. Gaspawera, thank you for the prime. Connor McDowell, good to see you. Thank you for two months. I hope I got that first name right. Gaspawera? Yeah. That's a tough one. Gas Piluera. It's Tuesday? It is not Wednesday? What time? Oh, fuck, it's Tuesday? Oh my god, I'm a wreck today. I don't know that Swiss means Switzerland. I don't know the day of the week. I'll tell you what, though, I'm kicking ass in this dungeon. We are efficient. We are calm, cool, collected. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling happy today. Fire arrows. We love it. No, no, that was not a head turn away. That was not me turning my nose at that loot. Happy playlist is getting a lot of play today. I feel good. I've neglected my meds again. Well, <laughs> I don't have any. Maybe that's the problem. Fit check? I am wearing a pair of brown pants, which may come in handy the further along we get into these dungeons, especially if we run into any more spiders. I am wearing a cream t-shirt. Thank you, kind sir. And then I'm wearing these shoes. You should add the fuck Skyrim Dark Souls splash as a channel point. God, I'm saving it. I'm saving it, but I'll give you guys fine. I'll give you guys a preview. Okay, but it's only for special occasions. It's for special occasions, all right? We can't use that ability often. All right, because right now I very much enjoy Skyrim. I love this game. Oh no, I can't say that! As soon as I say that, something terrible happens. Never mind, never mind. Uh, okay, we broke a lockpick. There. What is happening? Is this an apprentice lock, or have I been bamboozled into a lock that was handcrafted by the security gods? It went to the stronghold of security in RuneScape. Hey, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I like catching level two. He's going to spawn in right behind me. Yep. Oh, okay. He's moving. He's got some pep in his step. He's a little excited. One, go. Nice. Now he dies. Watch the arrows up top. Please go down. Oh, this is going to be hot. Stay right there. No, no, no. Stop backing up. Ooh, he about made it through. Can you guys stop outsmarting me, please? He even stopped right before the flames. We do want to collect some archery XP here. If we're going to go Dildaro's build. Oh, that hit. Time. I need my arrow kill cams. Archery. Okay, it's gotta be archery. Camera view, vanilla. Last enemy restriction. Yeah, we do want to keep that on, otherwise it gets us killed. Man. 
manual selection? Automatic? Ah, okay. No, we want manual, archery. If I don't get a kill cam here with my arrow, I'll be a little upset. Because this is going to kill him. Oh. See, I love that thing. It's perfect. Extra sword, don't need it. Although I'm gonna need more Elden Ring. Uh, I'm gonna need more Elden Ring alerts for this game. Cause like, I mean, fuck Skyrim is great. But I can only use it so many times. I'm gonna need like a whole list of them. Maybe even swap out the sound effect, hit it with some Dark Souls. Honestly? Oh, wait, hold on. When someone in chat was asking for fit check, were they talking about my character in game? <laughs> I, I can never tell with y'all, but this actually, I think this kind of goes hard. So in terms of fur armor, coolest look is certainly the one that just lets the chest hang out, but iron helmet in combo with it, it's not really meta, but that just, that works, especially having the, the handlebar mustache. It's almost like an extension of the helmet. That just looks cool. You've got the iron gauntlets, those fit, and the iron boots. I mean, this just, it works. This is a warrior. You run into this guy in the hallway, you better turn the other way around. It's not really the classic Dragonborn fit. That's, I, I think, standard iron set is the classic Dragonborn. In my head canon, in the Elder Scrolls lore, the Dragonborn never takes, they find the first suit of iron armor and they wear it the whole way through. Maybe they enchant it, maybe they upgrade it, but that first set that they find, they wear the whole time. It's not Joe Rogan, it's Hulk Rogan. Looted straight off a corpse. Yeah, so it is a little smelly. Speaking of smelly, this is a weird one for y'all. Like, really obscure reference. Does anybody remember the Andy Milanakis show? That might be a too out there of a reference, but the other day I was sitting in my car, and you know those times where just like a random memory from your childhood hits you? And you go, oh my god. I remember that. Smelly eggs. Or is it, is it smelly eggs? Or is it smelly eggs? But do you remember that? I got peas on my head, but don't call me a pea head. Bees on my head, but don't call me a bee head. Bruce Lee's on my head, but don't call me a Lee head. Now please excuse me, I got to get my tree fed. I wear name brands and I make my own clothing. I hang out with an apple who loves self-loathing. I hate myself. Pancake on my face. It's all coming back to me. Makes me extra happy. I like shampoo bottles that sit on my lappy. Does anybody remember this show? Or am I a psychopath? I promise I was not sitting in the car reciting the lyrics to that song, okay? I just really liked that show as a kid. It was very immature sketch comedy, early, mid 2000s. Honestly, not really sure how that thing got, even got greenlit. But let's not blow it now. All right, if I die here, I blame it on Andy Milanakis. Oh my God, what, I cast? Okay, we cast. Let's go arrow, we fall back. He's gonna try to shout. He misses, cause he's ass. I'm around the corner. No, I'm, I'm, see, I'm burning Stam. That's the thing with Blade and Blunt. I think it buffs archery, but the stamina is a huge drawback. What is this?
Mm. Thank you, kind sir. Oh no, not the wraps. Don't hurt the linen wraps. They did nothing wrong. Okay, I can't hit shit right now. Thank you, kind sir. Alright, target down. Dungeon cleared. We got our first checkpoint. And we got an enchantment. We like that. I'm actually just going to equip that. Oh, crap. Wait, we don't need Dragonstone. 25 pounds. We do not need that. Not a big fan of the loot there. We can go back. We can favorite the enchanted one. We've got our petty soul gem, so we are going to be able to recharge it at least one time. My favorite Bleak Falls exclusive streamer. Guys, you, th you all might think that region locking went away from the channel. No, no. We're just not leaving Bleak Falls Barrel. This is Skyrim without leaving dungeons. Am I wrong? This is a dungeon locked playthrough. What if dragon word walls add perk points as they're otherwise useless in this setup? So there's a potion we can drink that is bugged right now. And what the potion does, it's best taken early on in the run. But when you take the potion of dragon souls, it spawns a dragon priest that is twice the player's level. If killed, you get three dragon souls. So there is utility to word walls. But right now, the Dragon Priest isn't hostile, so it's bugged. No. No adventures, no theatrics, no... Well, I don't know what... Uh, yes, an ornament. So... You f I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Hold on. The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a I'm getting sneak attacked by a sneeze. I can feel it. It's crawling around in my sinus. Thank you so much for taking care of those. Things. Uh, let's do the. Thank you, kind sir. The way it used to be. Bless you. Right. For you that was just I didn't sneeze. I didn't sneeze. We're it's all oh, we're we're good. Free salt pile, cabbage soup, probably our best option. Three salt piles isn't very good. Other times I've been here, I've pulled like three or four. It means so much to us to have the no. Thank you. Salt pile? No. You and me. Let me get a backpack. Mm, fi the only fishing rod we can find elsewhere. That's what we want. Thief backpack isn't exactly what I want, but it'll, you know, it gives us the carry weight. We like that. Oh, wait, we made it to a save point. Okay, now we can use it. Special occasion. There we go. I have bested you, Skyrim. I am better than you. Lucan, go back to your post so I can buy some, some stuff. Some some stuff. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Thank you, kind sir. We came out with a thousand I gold. I watched Dune 2 in IMAX and it was incredible. Best commercial for face maxing I've ever seen. Face maxing. Glad you enjoyed it. For sure. If you have not seen it yet, no spoilers in chat, but if you have not seen it yet, please. Find the largest screen you can, the loudest cinema, and you won't regret it. I don't know. You know what? I am going to hold on to some of my smithing stuff. I think upgrading our gear might be in play at a certain point. Now, if I die, I lose everything. Scroll of Hysteria. We'll take the cash. Plenty of stuff there. Resist cold, we want to hold on to that because there's plenty of Draugr that can do it. I think we have enough to get... Oh, crap, we have to cure disease. Somebody in chat probably yelled at me about it. Cure disease. Um... Potion of Potions is overpowered. If there's one thing I've learned from these runs, Potion of Potions is broken. Getting three random potions is so powerful. I actually don't want to take it right now, though. I want to have control over this run. 1383. Ah. 
we might just have to go with the boring upgrade here. Lumbering Endurance. Increases health by 20, reduce stamina by 10. I could buy all three. A nice health buff could be decent. Or we could... Ooh. We could take Foolish Health, take the 20 buff. I'm okay with having less magic on this run. Potion of the Wolf. We can become a werewolf. Every septum. Skyrim, but no healing except cheese wheels. Now that sounds like a grind. The po uh, I agree, actually. That'd be cool. If we could get the potions, the perk potions, to have a unique thing, like a gold, I think that'd be cool if they had their own gold little icon. Uh, what's the ritual stone? Because right now, at this point, I'm feeling we take the Ritual Stone, Foolish Health, Raise Dead Enemies. Yeah, let's go Ritual Stone, Foolish Health. I'll take 10 less Magicka. And then I'll take 10 less Stamina. So we're going to take a buff. I'm going to spend the Stamina on my level up so we get that 10 back. That brings us down to 140 gold. We get rid of the disease, foolish health, lumbering endurance, ritual stone. With a level up into stamina. And then last time we took I'm trying to think what we did last time. I think we took light armor. Restoration is usually the first one we take. I want to switch it up. I'm not. I'm going to take heavy armor. then I need to oh the backpack we've got the backpack downstairs you can go ahead and be mad at me doesn't seem like they cared good guy Luke and appreciate it let's actually save that lockpick we go ember shard Hey, Juve, I discovered your channel slash YouTube like a month ago, and it's pretty much the only thing keeping me sane through flight school. I appreciate what you do, man. Shout out from the USMC. Uh, Schmichel, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. I, I wouldn't suggest watching the channel while flying. That's a new one. Wait, is there no gamble? Thank you. Are you guys not gambling? What? <laughs> you have to gamble. I'll set it up. Oh, wait, no, you guys are gambling. Clear three dungeons before first death. Pfft, well, yes. Shout out believers. I'll set up the next one. I, I got this next one. Um, reach third safe zone before death. It's got to be difficult. So we've already reached the first safe zone. Do we reach two more safe zones? Before we die once. How much do you trust me? How much do you believe in my skill? You got two minutes. Go gamble away. Bet the points. Gamble. Worth every septum. Cheer 100, cheer 100, cheer 100, cheer 100, cheer 100, hey Juve. It's my first time catching a stream and was wondering if I could get some help from you or chat. 
SSE part 2 won't let my Skyrim open and I'd cow to fix it. Any help would be great. I'm not sure what you mean by part 2. I would make sure though that the version of script extender you have matches the version of Skyrim that you have. That's always the first thing to check. All in. I want to see some all in gambling. I want to see some high rollers here. We got a lot of non-believers. I want somebody putting 100,000 channel points on belief here. Okay. Okay. It, it wasn't your time to show up. Well, let's go. I, I feel confident. We've got an enchanted sword. We've made it through one checkpoint clean. Level two. Two two-handed demons. Is that a silver sword? All right, fine. We go Rocky. Always consistent. Rocky loves seeing you out here in the battlefield. How you been? How are the kids? I know, I know. Eh, usually how it goes. Didn't sell any of my armor. That was a stupid mistake. We probably could have gotten another potion. Where are our stats sitting? 140 health looks nice. Why am I... Okay, never mind. Let's get the ritual stone favorited. Thank you, kind sir. Okay, I have a feeling if I use the ritual stone on these guys, they're just gonna die to Rocky trying to get out of this room, but let's see. They might have a little path out of here though. Rise, my minions. Sorry for taking your clothes. Uh, you need to equip the sword. What are you doing? Hey. Oh, he's... Okay, I think he just died again. This guy doesn't have any clothes at all. Okay, that might have been a really bad time to use it. <laughs> that, might, that might not work. Let's get the other enemies out here. Yes. I'm gonna have to do some food management while in here because we have a cooking pot. Where are the two? There's usually two bandits that push down that hallway. You have a lot of health. Oh, that's a hit. Oh, God, they're going to actually transform. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Do not let that thing turn into a werewolf. Huh. I forgot. Feral cub. Yeah, that means they can actually transform. I'm taking it. I think we're going full heavy armor. Throw the backpack on. There we go. Get some tatas. I'm going to run back and do... We're going to mine? Oh my gosh. We might be able to upgrade this armor. I think I need corundum. But if I can at the very least upgrade what I have... Ooh, we might be able to make it quite a while on this run. I'm going to try to go as far as I can without dying. I mean, why wouldn't I? Where do the extra bandit types come from? So the mod we have is OBIS, Organized Bandits in Skyrim. Which, it just, it diversifies the bandit sets, so there's different bandits that play different roles. I think it improves the combat sandbox a little bit. The silver armor needs... Ooh, silver, okay.
first person cannibalism? I guess we'll leave that on. Are you done? Quit moaning. It's distracting. <sighs> the pettiest pet peeve? What's with all the of Skyrim mods? Uh, yeah, I guess there are quite a lot. I never thought of that. Of Skyrim, in Skyrim, there are a lot of mods that are titled like that. It could be a analytics thing. You know, I mean, when people make Skyrim mods, they want them to play them much in the same way that people that make YouTube videos, they want people to watch them. It could just be a naming convention. Pluto's watching. Thank you for the two months. Did I miss any others in here? I was a little distracted there. Major Silva, thank you very much for the prime. K23, thank you for the 100 bits. Who Church, appreciate you. Thank you for the 500. K23, thank you for the tier one. Kevin and Kevin Eck, thank you for 11 months. Control XX, thank you for three months. Icy Freeze, thank you for the prime. Ban Banas Revolt, thank you for the tier one. Sorry, I did miss more of these than I thought. Gurge, Thank you for three months. War Maiden, thank you for gifting one. Now I'm caught up. I'm good at my job. Thank you, kind sir. I was just getting caught up. La Hermana Peste. La Hermana Peste? Thank you for the prime. Don't you dare badmouth my dearest cloaks of Skyrim. You mean schlongs of Skyrim? Look, I've never actually used schlongs of Skyrim. Can you kill perfect dog? timing, perfect Let timing. Thank you for cutting me off from talking about schlongs of Skyrim again. God. Much needed. <clears throat> it's just a framework mod, right? I don't know who out there did that. Who out there is anonymous? Whoever just saved me from going on another... <laughs> Penis mod tangent. Well, no, I'm walking back into it. <laughs> Walk away from it. I need to like reel in those thoughts. Pull it back. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, somebody asked if we will cover New Vegas again. I would like to. I had a blast. I got to tell you, I was having a lot of fun last stream. Honestly, I was having a really good time playing uh, Caravan, which was about half the whole stream. Oh, that's a lot of damage. If this arrow kills me, ye. That's a power attack. Okay, we have to dodge probably left. This could kill me, though. This would be a really bad time to die, because then I'd have to run through this dungeon naked. Ah, oh, shoot. Nice. Okay, we go under. Love that move. Let's get sword back, stamina. Potions. Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. Okay, we got one of them down. Nice. Big time play there. We gotta keep falling back. You cannot hit me with the power attack. I see it coming. Slow him down for a second here. What a play. What a play. That was huge. Now we buy ourselves some time. Sword and board back out. I'm in good form. I'm I'll tell you what, I'm in good form right now. Haters mad. Non-believers pissed. What is this tune from? I don't want to let it overstay its welcome, you know?
Uh, oh, we do have the archer in the back of the room. Let's get a little crafty here with it. Not a stealth archer. Don't even think I am one. Whew. Now, truth be told, the only reason I'm kicking so much ass is because I've just done this dungeon a million times. Now, do we go fishing again? We could do another fishing trip. Smithing buff, big time. We, let's, oh no. They don't actually have a forge. We do have some ingots. Let's see, can we at least upgrade the Ancient North Sword, let's do it. Pickaxe, why not? Everyone wants a premium pickaxe. And we can hit, yeah, we can hit our shield. That's it though. Oh, that was steel? Not bad though. Kind of crazy that we still almost got basically two hit killed with a full set of heavy. Thank you, kind sir. Hello, Pookie Bear. How are the dungeon adventures? They're going great today. Honestly, I'm, I'm having a very good time simply because I'm winning. Usually I have more fun while winning. What do we got up here for heavy armor? You take half damage from falling if wearing all... No, no, no. Although, wait, does that have utility fall damage? There's not too many vertical arenas. I guess when you get to some of the Dwemer dungeons, you might be jumping kind of far. We could go block. One-handed, yeah, not bad. I think I'm gonna start prepping economy though. I'm gonna go speech. Now, the way that this respawn is set to current, no, no. It should not be setting my respawn point there. I only slept for an hour. My respawn point should still be back at auto. Mm. It's meant to be eight hours. For shame. The bright side, on the bright side, I can COC back to uh, Lucan's place. So if I die, I get to keep my levels, I get to keep my XP, but I lose every item. I lose the majority of my gold, and all the dungeons will refresh. So if we die, it could start this, it, it could cascade, but we'll eventually be able to work our way through it. I like this instead. I like this instead of permadeath as well, just because I don't want to run through Bleak Falls Barrow anymore. I don't know if you guys saw me manic posting on Twitter the other day, but I sat there and I, in bullet point form, described the entirety of Bleak Falls Barrow. You walk in, you have the first room. Within the first room, there's a dead body on the floor in front of you. There's also going to be a dead body to the right of that dead body about halfway through the room. More than likely, they're carrying light armor. Most of the bandits you run into will be carrying light armor. You'll have two bandits that are sitting around a campfire with a locked novice chest right next to them, two beds on the floor. You go past the campfire, down the stairs, take a left turn, maybe hit some of the urns in that room. Then you take a right turn. You take another right turn. Down the stairs, you hit the puzzle room. Wait back. Let the bandit get killed by the trap. Then you activate the password, which is 122. Following the password room, the gate goes up. In the next room, you are going to have a pickpocket skill book. Another, uh, no, it is not a locked chest. It's actually an open chest. You'll find maybe a soul gem or two. Down the stairs, three skeevers. Through that room will be a paralysis potion, as well as a fireball scroll on the table. You move through that room. It is a left turn into the spider room. You hit the spider room. Obviously, you kill the spider. 
whatever that guy's name i can't remember it he is caught up in the spider web take him out grab the golden claw move through slight right turn down the stairs now you're in the draugr room right turn trap on the ground swinging trap takes out the three draugr that are in that first room Right past that trap is a tier two Draugr who's asleep. You can skip that Draugr if you want. Within the next room, uh, sorry, I forgot to say before that swinging trap, there's actually a hidden chest. We missed it on this run. It's easy to forget. Uh, then you end up in the swinging ax blade room. Move through that trap, left turn, left turn, right turn, oil pots uh, on the ceiling. Right turn, left turn. You are now in the room with the chain door as well as the jump scare Draugr who comes out of the tomb that he's in. There is a chest in that room. I don't remember if it's locked or not. Apologies. I don't think it's locked because we moved through that room pretty quickly. Open the chain door, head through, right turn, left turn. Now you're in the cave complex. Follow it around the bend. Take a right turn, head down there. You cross the chasm at the bottom of the chasm. There is Thank a locked kind, chest, sir. lower level. Love these challenges. Hope you know just how much we appreciate your content, Juve. Appreciate it. Thank you, Juju boy. After looting the chest at the bottom of the chasm, head back up the chasm, head through the opposite way that you came in. Left turn, right turn. There is now a higher tier Draugr in the room guarding the teleport into the next cell, along with an apprentice chest. Unlock the apprentice chest, head into the next room. Straight, left, left, swinging axe trap. Now you're in a room with one Draugr spawn on floor, one Draugr that pushes you with melee, one Draugr that sits up top with ranged, two fire pots on ground, two fire pots in the, uh, on the upper level. This is going to be a flame trap. <laughs> Play through these dungeons quite a lot now. <laughs> Cross the bridge, left turn, right turn, 222 two, two is the password. You are in the boss room cheer of Bleak Falls Barrow. Cheer 100, Juve. Is this how you pick up the ladies? Yep. That's that's 100% it. You just start describing Bleak Falls Barrow in detail, and they swoon. Oh. Ooh, I nice. That was a good play, and it's a restless. Can you repeat that again? Oh, I forgot about this guy. Okay, all right. I forgot about this little dickhead. We got to get separation here. That cold frost is tough. Get some safety back in here. I forgot that we have a gamble going on. I will not die. Ooh. What is the best route? Restless is going to slow us down. He's going to destroy our stamina. Get a little cheeky with it, fire arrow. Oh yeah. Ah! Oh, I almost took myself out with that one. Feel free to fact check me, by the way, on my knowledge of Bleak Falls. I am right. I need somebody to take my description of Bleak Falls and do a walkthrough or put it <laughs> put it over footage of a Bleak Falls walkthrough. We're not going to be stupid in here. Ooh, do I remember the password in here? I think I do. Eagle? Dolphin snack dolphin? No! Ah, damn it, let me be cool. Okay, that might kill him. Okay, little archer. A bit too confident in myself. I gotta get that restoration perk. I'm 
almost walked into it. All right, what I really wanted to do there, I wanted the explosion of the fire arrow to push that trap back and then swing back down to take him out. Oh, don't do that to me. Thank you. I hate that. I hate the fake out. Well, I okay. I like the fake out kill cams. That one was just annoying. Snack. Okay, true test of Skyrim knowledge. How broken is my brain? How consumed is it? Devoured. This game has devoured my brain. I'll check later, Yeti. That's right. Mods, Yeti's cool. Yeti's, Yeti, Yeti's cool. <laughs> Yeti has a cool thing that he's been working on recently. Uh, I'm not really sure. I think it would fit into this playthrough. Honestly, it would just be another little rule change. We could see how it plays out. Is it just me or am I like really walking through this right now? What's my di are we We've got the right difficulty on. Yeah. Maybe I'm getting too good. Oh no, do I have to be legend? Do I have to be on legendary? I can't. Oh, nope, nope. As soon as one of these assholes shows up, it's the equalizer. And I didn't cook. Fuck, I didn't cook. Ah, oh, that's bad. He's getting me. And I'm low on stam. Why would I do that? No point engaging there. We gotta burn resist cold and some healing pots. Oh, spaghetti you. Why would I do that? Oh, we got him. I don't know why I did that. I should have died. <laughs> I deserve to die there. We're good though. Whoo! They catch you. They catch you off guard. Like they've got really good range. They're quick with it. They don't hesitate to hit you with frost. It's just such a killer ability. That'd be a really fun kill cam. If we were able to like predator missile, launch one up there and take him out. of a kill cam said it a few times and I'll say it again completely robbed that would have been a really cool kill cam I'm, I'm already overusing it <laughs> I've used it too many times now did we get is that our second Dramora merchant oh you know what wait 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 
yeah, we have two Dramora Merchant Summons, which is huge. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call one in right now. These might be popping up just a little bit too much. I think in terms of balance, they should be a bit more rare. Does it add it as a spell? Ah, there it is. Let's make a deal. This is good timing, though. We can definitely keep this run going. Oh, he's got some enchanted gear. The Black Star. Is that a soul gem that you can... Is that a black soul gem that can be refilled and used as much as you want? Potion of Knockback. Potion of God Mode. You may activate God Mode for one dungeon, but your attributes are permanently reduced by 30%. Oh, Potion of Gambling? Oh, we're taking it. Oh, no, Dildaros! I don't know if I have enough money, though, to get up there. Dragon... Oh, you can just buy a Dragon Soul? That's sick. All right, hold on. We have some decisions to make here. I mainly wanted to call him in because we've just got a ton of crap right now. It was six things of hide armor we just have a lot that we don't need cut down on some weight it's gonna allow us to loot a little bit more as we go through here now let's get rid of those two we're up to 1390 clairvoyance don't need ya i got a lot of iron ore it's not worth a lot though i do think i want to hold on to the iron ore I want to see if we can get smithing. I want to see if we can get it. Okay. 1566, though. That is enough for Dilderos. Yeah, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I know it's a meme ability, but we've been playing really well. Until you summon me. It doesn't look like it got rid of the ancient Nord arrows, though. There we go. If you're carrying any arrows, you got to drop them, pick them back up, then they'll be dilled arrows. Where's the key? Isn't there a key here? Should have bought the gamble po- I should have. Or I could get this. Or I could hit them with the power of floppy arrow. Look at that. Boom. Now he's on the ground. And he's one of these- Ooh, I'm low on health. Let's take advantage. Let's fall back so we can at least heal up so I don't get killed right away. Get away from me. Skeever, why? Thank you, kind sir. Swap back to it. Got him. No, bad idea. Bad idea. We got to flop him again. Stay down. Okay, we need to get some falling damage on him. So we'll route him back up here. And hopefully be able to just knock him off the steps. Come on, it's got to kill him. <laughs> Damn it, give me the fall damage. If he hits right here. Come on, kill him. Yes! Dildaros for the win! Some may think that that strategy is not very effective. On the contrary, I think we need to practice with it a little bit. You know, we'll get good at it. Stamina pot. It's kind of big. 
We've really struck out on enchanted loot. Like, I think we just have our sword. That's it. We've had other runs we found way better stuff. Maybe at the end of this dungeon we can find something enchanted? <clears throat> I want to say there's a dungeon boss here. What? Okay, we got to stumble him. Buy some time later. Get out of my face. Okay, I'm loving this thing now. That's huge. Just being able to buy some time like that. Massive. Now we're going to switch. While he flops, he's mid-flop, then we attack. Okay, that's a lot of health. Combo. How the hell did I miss? Fake. Ooh, that's big. We need more arrows. I'm gonna get really stupid here. Don't judge me for this, I have to. How could I not go for this? I don't need dragon shot. Hey, come on, get out here. Stop. Ow, how to stop being. Come on out here. Enough, please. I need you on the bridge. Okay, he's going to step on the trap. Damn, and he's got frost. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's not get too stupid. Let's be just a little stupid. I wonder if I could throw one of them into the swinging axe room and back. Oh, they both just willingly walked into it. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, you're so fucked. Get up. No, how could you? I, I it was the perfect opportunity. I needed the flop. I wanted to send him flying in there. Got plenty of spears up to 40. No, oh, I hate this room. No, no, man. Okay, it's just my shoulder. I'm all good. I am perfectly fine. No way. I'm good. I hate these traps though. They're just, you know, they're 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 stressful. They're tough. Anyway, chat apologies. I have been very locked in. Now now the the stress is a little bit real. I'm only doing this for pride. I got to see how far I can get. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. 
Okay, I kind of forgot that we have a boss fight in here. And I don't have a summon. The last two times we did this boss fight, we had a summon. All I have is a Dramora Merchant. Can the Dramora Merchant fight? I, I think the arrows might be useful. Okay. Actually, hold on. Dildaro's MVP moment? No, 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 that's not it. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's not be stupid and waste our stamina. We know he's gonna pull up some summons. Taking out the shades is gonna be hard. And... Oh my god, <laughs> I really have to arc these things. But that's in the way! I only have 40 arrows, I don't... That's a summon, you can tell with the blue outline. We can cancel two of their arrows by taking cover here. Yep, that's the real one. He's already switching. We just have to know which one is the real one. Real? That's the real one. We're flopping him around a little bit. Ooh, who got me? They didn't do a ton of damage. Switching up again. Shadow. Real. Yeah, you can tell. Thank you, kind sir. Guys, are we Joe often today? We are. Well, at least I'm trying to. One summons in right here? No. Oh, God, they switch. Woo! Okay, all right. This is kind of a fun fight. Oh. Yeah. Uh. They're getting a lot of hits on me. Careful, careful, don't blow this. No, die, I can't get on the thing. Just crouch and hide and stay there and don't move. Not you, not you, he's in back. Oh, we gotta really arc this one. <laughs> it really is, it's the same trajectory. It's like a cruise missile or a predator bomb or... Predator missile. Okay, you just get out of here. <gasps> oh shit, that was close. I'm gonna be fine, I'm fine. He's on the left. We like when he's over here. Got him. Got him again. Missed. Just keep arcing. Come on, Dilt Arrows. The trajectory of a bomb. The power of a large wiener. We will destroy you today. He's got angle. They both have angle. Let's just take one out. He's in back. Oh no, come on, come on. Got him. He's on ground. Not worth pushing. Real. Damn, he actually got me in the head there. We get him to flop one more to- oh, Bastards. Okay, last healing potion gone. 
Is he shooting the same arrows? We got him. He's close. That's not him. There he is. Got him. Bye bye. Whoo. That was far more intense than I thought it was going to be. But that was a very fun fight. Actually, the, the mechanics kind of gelled well using the big floppy arrows and having to get them over. That, that actually played really well. I don't know why. I, th I think it was just like them switching, having to take cover in different little areas. We even got the Galder amulet. We didn't have any amulets before, so a bonus of 30 stamina. That's a huge upgrade. Black bow. Hmm. Eh. It's not great. It's not bad. It's not really that exciting, though. The loot from this fight is pretty disappointing. What are pearls? I am getting screwed. What the f what the, what's going on? Where did my streamer luck go? Where did the loot luck that I had prior? It's gone. It's like the game knows that I'm playing well, so it's just not giving me anything good. Oh, Feldar's tooth? We're fucked. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bathroom before Feldar's tooth. Is this the boss that shouts your weapons off you? Uh, the last boss? I don't think so. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Pause timer. Please remind me to continue said timer when we get back, because I often forget. Hang out with chair.
I got a snack. Sorry, y'all. Is it turkey? No, it's beef. Did I bring that for everyone? Eat. Eat. You need it. Chat, do you guys want to hear something fucking disgusting? Simple yes or no question. <laughs> All right, mods, please ban anybody that said yes. Everybody who said no, you can avoid the purge. <clears throat> I didn't have anything to tell you. I just was in the bathroom and I was like, it'd be kind of funny if I went back and just said, you guys want to hear something gross? Just to see who says yes. <laughs> this is entrapment. Sorry, is this like munching? Is it on the mic? I don't want it to be. Okay, good. I'm super self-conscious about that, honestly. I'm sorry, but I can't remember if it's you or Doug Doug that takes shots of olive oil. Look, I took a shot of olive oil like one time just for the meme. But that, no, no, not, not my thing. It's disgusting, actually. It is disgusting. Like it's a, it's a thick, Thank you, kind sir. gross, mm. it's nasty. Kind of nice, really? I mean, I like olive oil. If I have like bread, sprinkle some Parmesan in there, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Mark, good to see you. Thank you so much for gifting one. Uh, let me catch up. Crizzy, thank you very much for eight months. Gearhead, thank you for 11 months. Oh, Brayden, thank you for the 200 bits. I'm glad I'm, I, you know, you might have missed my recap of Bleak Falls Barrow, but honestly, it's probably good if you did. Juju boy, good to see you. Thank you very much for two months. We're all caught up now. Thank you, kind sir. Loading beef. Thank you for the prime. Speaking of beef, just had some. A little beef stick. Restart timer. Thank you for the reminder. I'm getting ready for work right now. All right, Mermy, I'll bite. I don't know why I'm just asking you. I should go back to picking pockets and room shells. Easy. What do you do for work? I'm just curious. <gasps> Irish Jacks, wait, the love triangle, what happened? Pause, everything is on pause now. I need updates on the love triangle. What, what, what was the result of it? Now, okay, if you don't remember exactly what happened with the uh, Irish Jacks, they were essentially, uh, they, had a, they had a partner, but they started to fall in love with the best friend. <laughs> and they and they came in here to ask. I'm not very good at that kind of stuff, but I have to at least know where the story went. I gotta know. Even if it's not true. Even if it is complete fan fiction, I would like to know. 
I chose my partner. Okay. All right. That's probably... Yeah, I mean... I, I don't know what's going on in the whole situation, but... You know. If you feel like you made the right choice, you probably did. But that's not very exciting, so I award you uh, no points. Sorry. That's like the most boring outcome. I, I do have to dock you a few drama points for that. It would have been so exciting if you went with the... <laughs> Why did I seem disappointed? I wanted chaos, okay? I don't know this person, all right? It was reality TV, it was drama. I'm dating my brother's best friend, is that exciting? I don't think it's that exciting. I mean, I'm sure it's led to a couple of jokes between the lads. Eh? But... How do they hear me already? Like, who is that upstairs discussing drama? Oh, oh, we could just send them falling down the stairs like it's a Home Alone movie. You a bad time to get lost, gotta kill. That's gotta be a kill. Oh my gosh, we might be able to clear this dungeon. If we get everyone to the top of the steps, we send them flying, it's game over. Is it cruel to just launch a big floppy phallic looking spear into this dog? Dog? What? <laughs> dog? Guys, I don't know what happened. He's in the walls. He's gonna kill me. I'm dead. I have no clue where the hell he would have gone. I dated two out of three brothers back to back. That was fun. Holy shit. That is awesome. <laughs> that, is, that is awesome. Definitely dramatic. Hold on, let's see if it happens again. Can we send every single pit wolf into the shadow dimension? I would have felt really bad. Look at him. Hmm? <laughs> nah, he didn't go into the shadow dimension. Hello? Who's there? Mage. Oh god, it's a vampire! Where did- I'm dead. I'm actually dead. This is gonna hit me. I cannot believe it. Oh no way. I missed. Is this gonna hit? No, it didn't! Run! Run, do we have? Ah, oh, crap, we don't have any magic. I need to separate as best I can. We need to buy some time with Dildaros in order to survive, but this actually could be killer. This is really bad. We have a good thing going here. I got a good thing going. Please don't ruin it. No, no, no fucking way, the dog. He came back. Unbelievable. Revenge of the dog from within the walls. That is crazy. That's crazy, crazy, crazy. Now here's where the mechanics of the challenge change from last time. Okay, okay, enough, it, hey! Uh-oh.
Here's where the mechanics change. Let's get healed up. Give me like two seconds here to figure out exactly where to go. That bed should not have been our respawn point. Worth every septum. I love that this stream has just become tea spilling time. Lol, I'm here for it. We we can spill the tea every now and then. I don't want it to be all about tea spilling. Why did it take all of my gold? It shouldn't have. It should have taken 80%. Does anybody know how much gold I had before? Why is this at zero? It should be eight hours. Except. And it should be about a 50-50 shot that I lose all my stuff. I am just going to save here. We just got to make sure that we're... Congratulations to the uh, non-believers there. Really, I screwed the pooch. I screwed that one up bad. Ashes is a bit buggy. Um, but I have to think. Do you have any kind of schedule to your streams or do you stream when you have time? So generally I try to stream around the same time when I do. I'm just going to check how much money we had here. I'm going to give myself back 20% of that amount. 355. What's 20% of 355? Roughly 70. 70 gold. No, oh, I hate when I open up this menu. <laughs> 71. Okay. How many dungeons until third safe zone? Well, since we've died and we've come back to the Riverwood Trader, about 10. We got to do that boss fight again. We got to start naked. So we'll just give ourselves 71 gold back. That's all we really have to work with right now. You and me, we're the only people around who We lose our backpack from in here. Uh, one tough thing. Can I get permission from you all to reset my hunger so that I don't start starving while naked? Because, I mean, we're already we're already at a pretty tough checkpoint where we got to go into the next dungeon naked. I don't think it'll be too hard because it's Ember Shard Mine. We can go through that naked and come out with some decent gear. But, like, we keep we keep our level. We'll, we're still level three. We're going to be able to claim a level up while we're in here. Our skills have still progressed. So this is where it kind of is Souls-like in a way rather than roguelike. Because if I sleep for eight hours, in theory, I did test this, I did practice this, it should reset the next dungeon. So we'll just start, we'll take the level up. Um, I'm going to go stamina. We're going to go health. We have two. Okay, we'll take both of those. Like, we still have Dildaros. We can still loot some stuff up and rebuild our loadout. I think loot chests also should reset. It's just a simple checkpointing system, but we're going to be slightly more powerful if we get our loadout reset. We got to take restoration. And then one handed. Yeah, I think. I 
I think the fairest way is to come back here, sleep for eight hours, reset the dungeons, eat all the food, so we don't go into the dungeon with food. Why is the door locked? Strange. Okay. <laughs> I'll try and find a lockpick in here. Oh, hey, clothes. Yeah, I'll throw it on. Why not? Now we save it up. We're back after it. We got to make sure, though, that it reset. Uh, not quite. <laughs> not quite what we're looking for. Yeah, those guys didn't. Oh, 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 my bad. That's on me. Uh, there is a crucial aspect of this to get it to actually reset. You have to quick save and quick load. So now it should reset. Bastard game. How dare you? Again, we embrace... We embrace the playtesting. Oh, true! I forgot I died there. You know what? This is overdue. Yeah, that one felt good. That one felt good. I did deserve to die there. And I gotta give it to that death. Thematically, that wolf, I have to give him credit. I gotta clap it up, that wolf, that was amazing. He glitched into the wall only to return back to the fight. <clears throat> Cause if you, if you play that fight back, if that wolf doesn't show up, I get the arrow off, I floppify the vampire, I get separation, I get up the stairs, I probably still die because the second enemy overwhelms me. But if I was able to flop the vampire off the stairs, they're dead. Let's try this again. Let's give it another hour. Um, I just want to double check the actual dungeon respawn. Oh, wait, I can't. It's not an MCM menu thing. We'll try. We'll save again. We'll load that save. This is how I was getting them to reset before. It might not reset the rocky trap. As long as the enemies reset, then we're good. Are there other areas besides Riverwood Trader used as a safe zone? Yes, if we reach the next one. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, it did reset. There we go. Now we're good. The dungeon's back. We're naked. I can feel the breeze between my Nordic pecs. What was that? Hey, hey, shit stains. What was that? You know what? Let's try some conjuration. I have a conjuration spell. Let's try this. Come on, this ghost sucks. Never mind, this ghost is actually hard as fuck. You see that he really goes with the execution to finality. It's like his version of fatality. Don't really want to wear light armor. Ooh, some food, I love free food. No plans on redoing all the iron ore in here. I don't really wanna. I could. I'll skip it though. We need some protection. Yeah, we got all that on. Wait, no, I don't. What does the little diamond mean? Does that mean best in slot? Okay, I'm already liking this a lot more. Cause like, the game is hard, the progress feels fair. I'm getting levels, I'm getting perks, I'm getting upgrades. We have Dildaros in our back pocket, but we almost have to re-earn that playstyle again. It shouldn't be too hard, cause we just need one ranged. Okay, I don't know what the hell an agent is. Let's not die, ghost. She's gonna go, ooh, okay. 
A con what is that? A conjured scimitar? I, see you burn. I know what to do here. I got an idea. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I guess it kind of worked. Okay, I can hit her through the bridge. This is a valid strategy. We'll just leave the agent back there. I don't want to deal with her. Uh, Crafting Jedi, I appreciate that. Thank you for the tier two. Let me just make sure I didn't miss any others. I think we're good. Uh, Sassy Wimple, thank you for the 100 bits. And Crafting Jedi, thank you for the 200 bits. Again, loading beef, we're all caught up. No key, though. She has the key to this door, which we do lose upon death. I like that. Ugh. Salt pile? Spider egg? Not bad, just in case we maybe make potions. Oh, please. Dramora Merchant, why? I don't need you right now. Uh, actually, hold on. Dramora Merchant could be clutch. We're not going to be able to trade with Lucan. So having some economy play while we're back doing this little sprint again, that could be huge. Just one at a time. We got to take this one a bit slow. I might do some fishing here. Could be worth it to go for that enchanted ring. Bandit broken. What does bandit broken mean? I'm liking our stamina right now. We're not burning too much. Great sword. Oh, terrible. Oh, God, that was close. Try to coax her into another power attack. Good fight. The battle axes? I think the battle axes are a bit underpowered when enemies have them. It seems like their hitbox with them is a bit awkward. Like, it, it seems as if they swing the battle axe, but it comes closer to their chest than it should. Great swords feel pretty balanced with precision. Ah, uh, good shot. I fucked that one up. Fall off the ledge. Come on. Go. Fall. Yes, please. Get up the... Thank you. We got to take the bow. Dildero's back in play. Although it's just a long bow, so they're nerfed. And you know what I missed? Ah, oh, yes. Every time I miss these. Really good stuff there. Ooh, Dramora Assassin, we need that. That could get us through the boss fight in the next dungeon. All good. Should be all right on food. That bandana kind of goes crazy. Should I throw it on? Does the quest boss respawn? Uh, that's a tough one. Honestly, I have no idea. It's 
Let's get that bandana. I'm fine with doing some cool factor. Yeah, purple bandana does go kind of hard. I like it. It's risky just because of time investment, but let's, yeah, let's fish for an enchanted weapon. We're so back. We're so back. Welcome back to Ember Shard Cave. Home to Histcarp. Many other fish. I can't do any more vacation. <laughs> I can't do any more salesman talk. TFC while fishing? Thank you, kind sir. Yeah, it looks really cool. <laughs> looks really immersive. Oh, I can actually fish. Thank you, kind sir. Fishing UMM, yes, please. That's wild. Hold on. You can actually catch the fish. It accepts the prompt. But whatever you catch is physically held in the game world in front of the player. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. Neil Ganda, thank you very much for gifting five to the channel. How are you? Good to see you. Welcome to my fishing channel. We're all about catching the biggest, baddest fish. Thank you very much, Mule Ganda. Nizblitz, thank you as well for the prime. Skipper Stinky, thank you for the prime too. Appreciate y'all. Hope you guys are doing well. So the reason why you can TFC and actually see the character, which a lot of times in vanilla Skyrim you can't do, if, uh... It's because of the camera mod I have. So the player model is always visible from this. That's so trippy. It's just weird. It feels like some... It, this feels like information I should not be allowed to see. Right? It's like in Fallout 3, when you ride the train in Fallout 3, that's actually just a hat on top of the character's head. Worth every septum. I've been stuck on the same puzzle in Fallen Order for 15 minutes, and this stream is the only thing keeping me sane. Thank you, lol. Some of those, some of those fall in order puzzles, they'll get you. Okay, tripod spider fish. I don't remember catching that last time. Is that a real fish? Thank you, kind sir. Toxic blue, good to see you. Thank you very much for the tier one. Pleasure to have you. Oh. Oh, God! I forgot we're a vampire. What do we get? Steel sword of dismay. Creatures and people up to level 5 flee from combat for 30 seconds. It's not great, but we know we're going to run into an enchanted, uh, an enchanting altar. Right? In the next dungeon, we're going to run into one. But we need to hurry up and cure vampirism. That is a problem, actually. <laughs> kind of forgot that we caught vampirism. Yeah, uh, I'm not actually... Fuck this. We're moving on. Steel Sword of Dismay, sure, we'll throw it on. I doubt it's going to do much to the enemies we're going to run into. But we have two things we can disenchant. That's very important. Whether we, you, you know, survive sir. or die, I think getting that enchanting XP is going to be big. So let's collect what we can. We're going to have to Dramora Merchant at some point. We have our summon. That'll be helpful. But we are severely nerfed compared to last time. Let's get our... Build arrows, get those favorited, we're gonna need them. Thank you all so much for continually suggesting that we should not do this permadeath. Awesome, awesome change. I'm really enjoying this. I think that the progression just feels so much better. 
Uh oh. Did this dungeon not reset? As a quest dungeon. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spaghetti yo. Every septum. Finally beat the puzzle. Let's go. Hey, go. I, I believed in you. That's a bit of a problem. But there should be a penalty for dying, no? I, there kind of is. I mean, we lose all of our items and the vast majority of our gold. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, all of this is the same. So we got Ember Shard to reset. This one doesn't. But I, I think it should. So does anybody know? Is there is there a mod for like respawning? Yeah, come watch Bleak Barrows for the 15th time. Uh, where was my last save? Right when I walked in here. So let me load back in here. And then I'm going to COC back to Ember Shard. Just right back to the start of it. There is that one NPC we didn't kill in here. I'm going to see if there's a mod we can find that resets quest dungeons. Although we might strike out here. Hold on, I'm investigating. Skyrim quest Dungeon reset mod. Mod to reset three early clear dungeons. There's a mod in here. There's a mod on the Nexus I'm looking at that looks like it gives you the ability to use Dragon Souls to reset things via time travel. What if we wait 24 hours? I don't think we can. I, so, so I think what's going on here in the background of the game is the dungeon that we cleared is tied to a quest, right? And when things are tied to the quest, when things are tied to quests, it gets a little fucky because there's quest staging and, and different behaviors on the back end that I think are getting fucked up. This simple mod sets all Skyrim locations to repopulate after five in-game days. Specific quest NPCs like Dragon Priests, etc. will not reset. Right? So... Hmm. So there is a setting... in SSE Edit... or XEdit... I can show you I can show you guys exactly what I changed to the dot ESP that we have in our game. This could be interesting. It could be really, really boring. I happen to think that it's cool as shit. Just kind of understanding a little bit about the back end of the game. 
So if we look at, damn, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed because I was having a good time. I was, I was really enjoying that. That was fun. Crap, it's not in. Mm. Give me one sec here. I have to pull just a couple of things up on my end. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about though. Cause I do, I do think that this is interesting and I think that it's just decent knowledge to share. Thank you, kind sir. Poggy. Okay. I'll have this pulled up in approximately ten seconds. All right, so we're looking at a thing. Did I accidentally open up way too much? God damn it. This is not what I wanted to look up. I accidentally opened up like every single file in the game. I'm just trying to open up one specific file in a program called SSE Edit. Here we go. Okay, so I got the right one opened. So it's this 72hours.esp. What this mod does is it sets the in-game cell respawn timer to 72 hours. I went in and I changed it to eight hours. So you can see the two game settings right here. This might be hard, can I, I don't know if I can really zoom this in all that well. But if you squint in your eyes and you look close enough, you see I hours to respawn cell right here, I hours to respawn cell cleared. Here's the original Skyrim.esm setting, and then here is the 72hours.esp that overwrites it. What I did is I went into this box right here and changed the data value from 72 to 8. So it will reset the cells instead of every 72 hours, as the mod originally did, to every 8 hours. That was just for ease of access so that when we did do this mod, we could reset the cells and go back in. However, I don't know if this same logic applies to the quest cells. Opened up the Yapatronic with all that text. So I think the mobs. It, it's hard to it's hard to tell. How we roll with it. In terms of the quest dungeons, because that is a bummer. Yeah, quest cells are usually just one time. Jelly Bulldog, good to see you. Thank you very much for three months. Ranger Trooper, thank you for the 95 bits. How are you? Arbins, I missed that, but thank you very much for the prime. Shouldn't it be 80 and not 8? No, we want it to be 8. Try PCB console command. PCB command Skyrim. I'm not sure what that does. Purge cell buffer. Hmm. Best used while in interior cells. However, since it purges cached cells, any cells you visited in the recent past will have to be reloaded completely when re-entered. I mean, we could try it. Yeah. That'd be so cool. If that worked, that would be so cool. If the mod wasn't needed at all, that would be amazing. Well, let's give it a try. We'll go back into Ember Shard. We'll get right back up before we went into that next dungeon, and we'll try PCB.
That isn't it, it just frees up some memory. So, Ember Shard should still be cleared. We should see that one NPC in the water. Actually, if they're still alive, they might have reset their position and gone back to be right outside the jail cell. But we didn't kill them. We've still got our little chonky arrows. Kind, sir. I should have locked it. All right, we'll get to the end here and try PCB. Whenever I hear PCB, though, it makes me think of the spring break location for all the young, hot singles. On a sexy spring break vacation, Panama City Beach. I've never been. Although, whenever I hear about that place, that's the vibe I get. Dr. Sweetwater, thank you for the prime. All right, I just typed in PCB. I'm going to save. Thank you, kind sir. Unfortunately, no. How the hell did I survive that fall? I saw that didn't do much. Did you ever do a fun spring break trip in college? Uh, I went on a cruise once, which is like the least exciting way to explore the world. Okay, reset cell, then PCB. So we need to find the cell ID first. Help. Demon. Dialogue, how long have you been? No. It looks like we spelled it right. Oh, Germund. Yermans Hall 01. So it'll be reset interior. Thank you, DDM. We're all learning a little bit today. This can also be an educational stream. Okay, guys? It's not all about phallic humor and nonsense. So we do the cell ID, which is A5A71. Thank you, kind sir. Behold the new Twitch baby, Artillery Arby. Artillery is for my favorite mercenaries black market power and RB for the sandwich you almost didn't get. Also, they're good at sport. See, now that I can get behind. I need more Twitch babies with lore. That's exciting. Okay, we'll try another save. <gasps> no! Fucking way! Did it work? It worked. We're so back. We're so fucking back. We're so fucking back. EDM Link. You earned this one.
I'm loving the new green screen movement. It's awesome. Like, we can do so many cool activities. Oh, right, look at this. Look at, look, you know what we can do with this awesome green screen? Check it out. Uh, let's do... See? Now I'm on the table. I mean, you can't really see my feet, but I'm on the table. I am in, in the universe. I'm hanging out. We're over here. Just, okay, that, this out this wasn't as cool as I thought it was going to be. Because I can't hear the music. Right? Like, for me, it's just really quiet. <laughs> it's, it's actually silent. <laughs> But now I can finally be in the universe. Like, it's about damn time. These are my people. Feet reveal when? Yeah! Is that where I was? Was I that high up before? No, absolutely not. That's good. Shoes indoors? Uh, I always wear shoes when working. So I have a mental thing where like if I'm wearing shoes, then I, I'm working. We're back. We're in. Let's go. The run continues. We will just take notes on that command and how that works. Don't really know exactly how it's going to go. But the run continues. Nice gold find. Keep st well, let's stack up. Ooh, you know what stinks? We don't have a backpack anymore. Not having a backpack is going to pretty much... It's going to really nerf how much money we can get from... The, uh, the Dramora Trader. But the increase in level, we're starting to find a little bit more gold. Is this going to be orcish? I think it's an orcish. No, still not orcish. Potion of water breathing. You know, somewhere out there, there's a Skyrim player that saw that potion of water breathing and it saved their life. I can't wait till we start unlocking new levels. What do we do when we have to go to Apocrypha? Neth, are there Apocrypha dungeons in this? There are. I'm, I'm pretty sure there are. Fire arrows. Gotta love it. We'll play it safe in here. We won't get too crazy. Wow, oh, too early. Oh my god. How do I always forget about this guy every time I come in here? I'm dead? How am I not dead? Oh my god. 
If I had to go through Ember Shard again, that would have been my new Bleak Falls Barrow. This little hidey hole has gotten so much. Like, it's gotten more play than... Not quite Bleak Falls, but it's gotten a lot of play. Oh, well, I'm gonna play it safe here. No, I'm gonna play it like a moron. Actually. Hold on, can Draugr swim? Oh, is it worth it? I really want to knock this guy into the water. I'm going for it. Oh, <laughs> yes! Drown? There's no way Draugr can swim. How in the hell did you find your way? Get in the water. Stay there. Stay. No. No, no. <gasps> Back to the hidey hole. How is he resistant to water? He's hydrophobic. Wait, so am I. Ah! Keep flopping. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> right around the corner. Okay, again, idiot. Don't die. This is not a difficult encounter. good it's not really the meta but it's fun no 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 illegal illegal cannot use those let's give him a nice little angle upward momentum okay or not sometimes it just doesn't want to work Snack. Eagle. So this one is two zero one two two zero one two. Oh, the door's open. Wait, hold on. Why is that door open? Okay, the enemies are still here. That was a good shot. It just feels so good when it actually arcs the whole way. Boom! Still, it's a restless. Big time. We need the money. Let's go top of the steps. WWE style. Throw him down the steps. I'm out of arrows. <gasps> I'm out. How could I? How could I do this to myself? No way, I'm dead. I forgot to heal. Come on, 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 break out. <gasps> no way. No way. That is like the third time we have been on the brink of elimination and just somehow squeezed by. Okay, I gotta get serious now. No more fucking around, no more playing around. Okay, we gotta get in the right mindset. We gotta think about 
I don't know. Think about things that, other things that are stressful to make this seem less stressful. Like your credit score. They say a man should always dress for the job he wants. So why am I dressed up like a pirate in this restaurant? It's all because some hacker stole my identity. Now I'm in here every evening serving chowder and iced tea. Should have gone to free credit, credit. report.com. I could have seen this coming at me like a nap bomb. They monitor your credit and send you email alerts. So you don't end up selling fish to tourists in t-shirts. I thought it was pirates in t-shirts, not tourists. That would make no sense. That'd be silly if it was pirates in t-shirts. Well, I was shopping for a new car, a, joint, a cool convertible, or an SUV. Too bad I didn't know my credit was whack, because I'm driving off the line in a new subcompact. F-R-E-E, -E, that spells free. Creditreport.com, baby. Saw their ads on my TV. Thought about going, but was too lazy. Now instead of looking, flying, rolling, my legs are sticking to the vinyl, and my posse's getting laughed at. F-R-E-E, -E, that spells free. Creditreport.com, baby. Offer applies with enrollment and triple advantage. Okay, get our spears back. I'm good. I'm not even thinking about Skyrim right now. I'm thinking about my credit score. And that's what scares me. Not Draugr. Not enemies. Not death. That doesn't scare me. What scares me is selling fish to tourists in pirate t-shirts. Wait, he doesn't say pirate T. Why do I keep thinking he says pirate there at that part of the song? All right, we're going to arc this one. Knock him off the ledge. Awesome. 10 out of 10 game design. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Just wonderful. This body seems to be dropping Dramora Merchant every time. Not that I really hate it. Uh, we have another tier 2 Draugr in this room. I'm not risking disease. Why did I think the skeever would open the door? Can they? Ooh, Garnet, what a find. Off a skeever? That's huge. Now, we gotta take advantage of this while we have it. We go Arcane Enchanter, yeah. Take that, give me the XP. Get rid of the sword. Fear, not doing much. So if we do die, we at least have the insurance of another level up. I'm not going to, though. I need another kill or two that's going to let me stock up on um, some arrows. No, why would I do that? I had the perfect opportunity to flop him off the ledge and I blew it. Why did it do that? <laughs> Wait, what? Does the Reekling Spear flop ability apply to bow bashing? I mean, we gotta, we gotta like investigate it. Now let's get right here. He doesn't see us. We get the perfect angle here, slightly to the left. What, what are you doing? Why would you do that? What was the strategy? I'm not normally disappointed in Draugr for being stupid. In fact, I appreciate it almost all the time, exclusively, I love it. But why? What was the... I'm gonna try this again. Okay, it doesn't. Perhaps I have to have the floppy arrows equipped. Oh, 
But this is nice, though. Ancient Nord Arrow, Ancient Nord Bow. We can get rid of the Longbow. Probably should hold on to it to sell. I'm going to need all the gold I can get. But we're doing good on gems. Now, let's not fuck it here. Good. Easy. Okay, boss encounter. I am going to use one of my... Oh, do I want to save it and sell it? Because I only have 623 gold. We're going to want to go Dramora Merchant. I don't have that many arrows. 16 Reekling Spears, not enough to get through this fight. So I am going to have to burn one of my conjures. It's arrows reduce targets below 250 health to 1 for 10 seconds. Okay, let's start it. And I think my new strategy... Wait, oh, it's just a Draugr Overlord. Did you take him out that quickly? Also, you look really cool. Where do you get off being really badass cool and sexy all at the same time? That's not fair. I'm none of those. Nord Great Sword of Chills? Number five, Ancient Nord Great Sword. We gotta go disenchant. Isaac, I need you to edit that into uh, <laughs> an actual chills top 10 countdown. Where do you stop it? Stop it. I'm gonna start developing a, a crush on you. Oh my god, it's actually just Skyrim Carlac. Look how tall she is! Ah! <laughs> I'm weak in the knees! We got to get something good. I've straight up, I've struck out on every single chest, every loot container. I have gotten screwed. This is going to be the one. Oh my God. And it's just, it's disgusting. It's even worse than the last one. All right, let's see what we can get, though. We took the speech perk, which is big. Let's make a deal. I think that might be able to add up here. We only have 700. Big time. Welkin stone. Do I want to hold on to it? It could be kind of good. Clairvoyance, take it. Oh, not the salt pile. What am I doing? Can I have it back, please? And you're gonna charge me for it. You're an asshole. Art of the deal. Scroll harmony, not bad. Water breathing, yeah, just get rid of those. Yikes. Yikes. We're sitting at 1394, okay. Oh, he's the Wabajack? I didn't know he'd carry the Wabajack. 5,000 for it? That's, okay, that's a fair price though, I like that. That's something to definitely grind for, or like, you know, kind of save for. Hold on a second. Oh my God. This is the greatest 
This is the best mod I've ever played. This is the best Skyrim experience I have ever played. We can either go, we can either lean into the potions, depending on the ones that he has, potion of gambling, very tempting, or we could right now spend 1200 and immediately unlock for the enchanting table, magic resistance. It's a very good enchantment to have. So there's a few routes that we can do this. We've got some pretty good ones, though. I, I do like Unstoppable Force. Unstoppable Force is pretty good. <laughs> but who do you think I am? Huh? You think I'm some kind of coward? You think I'm a bitch? You think when it's on the line, I'm not gonna go for the gamble? I gotta go for the gamble. We hit the gamble. We get the enchanted shield. We disenchant. We lock in that enchantment forever and we have it. But then I come back here and we take... Knockback could be pretty good. Not against taking God Mode either, but we'll go gambling. Oh no. Wait, hold on, we have a second cast. If it hits, we conjure Dramora Merchant again. Come on. Ah, this game. Why must you do it to me? Why must I always have to gamble it? Why could I not have taken the shield? So we meet again. Thank don't you do that kind, to me. Sir. Don't, don't. Was it worth it? No, <laughs> it really wasn't. Ekbar, good to see you. Thank you for seven months. How are you? All right, we have a really, this is a tall order because this dungeon is hard. I mean, do we stealth through Feldar's Tooth? I can run through it. I think I'm gonna try to. I mean, what do I have? What? No, 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 no. We can kill them. We just have to lure them to the top of the steps, Dildaro them to the bottom, flopify them, you know, send them wriggling down the stairs like a noodle. Let gravity and their bones, let those do the killing. Oh, come on, you're a, you're a ghost. Ash pile. Is that from the dog I killed before? Hey, I'm over here. I'm over here. Come on. Why don't they just attack me? Are they stupid? Whoa! You have a death wish, may Malik have spoiled your blood and grind. Oh, and the traps got him? Light him up, traps. Come on. Let's see what you're made of. Okay, she's dead. Now for the ghost. Yeah! Hell yes. Nice, we're back to a full heavy armor set. That's huge. We'll hold the fur armor just because it's light. We gotta find a backpack though soon. And we're gonna need one of them to drop arrows. Steel sword, I think that's my best in slot for one-handed. Now nah, I already have one. Okay, let's see if we can send the demon dog into the void again. Oh, poor guy. I didn't mean to. Crap. How long do I have? I still have vampirism. 
we got to get to the next one really fast. He's coming around that corner with ice. Got him. Okay, he's a mage. We'll flopify him and then we have to fall back. But we are gonna have to move through this dungeon pretty quickly. We gotta up the pace. We've got two or three dungeons before we get back to a shop. 100% we have to. He's coming. Crap, I need Stam. Not risking it. I'm just trying to follow the red dot. I can't tell if he's in that hallway right next to me. Take a 30 second debuff on regen. That was big. I know what to do in here. This may get me killed. Or not. Behind it, shit. Damn. Okay, we can. Uh, I know what to do. Hear me out. How's that not kill him? How did that not kill him? Come on, that was so cool. Just by rule of cool, I deserve that kill there. I wanted to get behind it. If you get behind that trap, there's a hand crank, so we can manually fire it to kill the bandits. I think we have some time before the second bandit shows up. Two archers? I'm okay with two archers. Psych. We have to kill these two archers, though. I need the arrows. Give me that. Ah, uh, god damn it. I needed that shot to hit. I don't like a straight hallway. Get back. That's a death tunnel. When you get in a straight on hallway, it's completely like... That's how you die. I need some, uh, we need some momentum here. It's only, okay, they're gonna both push. There we go, one down. There we go, they're both flopped. Ritual stone, pretty good call here. Or not, or you just do nothing. Thanks, dude. Can I use him as cover? That was a great shot. We actually got that one through the hallway. 
It was like scraping the ceiling. God, that's so bad. Uh oh. Shoot. Uh no. Why did I do that? I got so greedy. I just I, I got tunnel vision and I really wanted to shoot the arrows there. I don't know why, I needed to just fall back. Oh God. Man, oh man. I don't know what I was thinking. Y'all, no, that one actually kind of hurt. That one sucked. That was so bad. And they both had low health, too. Oh, god damn it. I need a minute. I need a minute. Because now Ember Shard is becoming my Bleak Falls. I don't want to go through Ember Shard again. It's easy. <sighs> hey, Lucan. How you doing? so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. We don't sell any imports from Somerset Isle, do we, Lucan? I'm afraid not. Well, all right. I was thinking we can think about this. We could stock all kinds of Although I want to try something real quick, just because I think it would be kind of funny. Hear me out. <laughs> Hear me out for a second, chat. The items, you know, cater to some of our more. What in the why would the game do that? What was the point of that? Why did it do that? <laughs> You don't have for things to do because I could certainly find quite a few tasks. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck did that happen? I was just, well, I wanted to. I want to stand on my shoulder. I wanted you to have this. All right. Hey, token of my hey, you've had some tough losses. I know. I get it. I get it, but get it the fuck together, huh? You understand what's at stake here, right? You've been through Bleak Falls Barrow 20 times, over and over and over. You've been through Ember Shard over and over and over. You've been through the thing with the other guys, the Draugr, you've been through it a million times. Get it through your head. Play the game right. Quit playing like a dipshit and you will survive. Stop getting cocky. Play smart, not stupid. This game is not difficult. You make it hard, you dipshit. All right. I just had to motivate myself a little bit. I just had to deliver a message, okay? After that, Hulk Rogan will be feeling confident. Renewed energy. <sighs> that felt good. That felt awesome. Anybody else getting coach flashbacks? I know, is that, is it, sorry if that gave anybody bad flashbacks of a coach that was very hard on them. Now fight a mud crab. Is there a prediction going? We just ended one because I died. I'm going to run and grab a water real quick. I'll be back. I'll be like 15 seconds at most. Hang out with chair. Welcome to the number one chair stream on Twitch. Go right on ahead.
You can talk when you're ready, buddy. The Photoshop blob in the background? Hey, you know what? That's the best I could do. Trying to mask out the two characters that are... They're on some Sound of Music bullshit in the background. Thank you, kind sir. Sometimes I fall asleep watching your videos. Can you scream to wake me up? Sometimes I fall asleep watching your VODs at night. Can you please scream to wake me up? Oh, we took care of that a couple seconds ago. Jibbles, thank you for the prime. Cheers. I gotta be honest with y'all. I'm having a fucking blast with this now. I was a little bit nervous. Mod needs my attention. Payout Gamba. Is it broken? Yup. What do I look like to you? A gambling merchant? Thank you, kind sir. <laughs> non-believers, wait. Ooh, non-believers stealing 315,000 points? Let's give the believers one. Reach second to safe zone. But for real, though, I am, uh, <clears throat> I'm loving this. I'm really, really loving this. It's it. I don't know what it is, but it feels like this version. It starts clicking now that we have like shorter term goals to go for rather than getting two hours into a run dying and have to completely start over. Ugh, this. It just scratches an itch. It just it, it, it just hits so well. And like, OK, I am heartbroken. The last death that fucking sucked. Oh, Thank my you, God, that sir. sucked. But um, it took a little bit and I'm and I'm really, really enjoying it. And I think for the video project, I think it'll be very fun talking about sort of the mechanics like we tried it the first time and it was well the first time it was completely broken and then we had to look into a couple of other things so then we've changed the rules to make it feel different and i think now the way we have it now the progression feels really well paced it feels a lot tighter <clears throat> I think losing all of our money and losing all of our gear while keeping the skill progression that we've gotten is pretty fair. And, and I am. I, I've seen quite a few people in chat ask and suggest and say, use the um, use the conjuration spell that you have or somebody just suggested trying to find elemental flare. Those are too good. I, th I feel like those. Will. I'm I'm enjoying the pace that it's at right now. And I kind of do want to stick to the, you know, floppy wiener arrows we've got. But I am. I'm loving it. Really enjoying it. You can't bet. 
Uh, Marcus, if you want to bet, we can just we can do it under the table. Cash only. You might change your mind when you play Ember Shard for the 15th. We're getting past it. We're getting past Ember Shard this time. <clears throat> I agree, and I do, I want to be careful about the potion upgrades that we pick because with some of them, they are unbalanced in a way where if we pick them, it immediately will like, <laughs> you know, kind of unbalance the run. And I'm enjoying it as it is right now. So we got another, oh, crap almighty, crap on a stick. That's not a saying. I have to cure vampirism. Is there... There's no shrine in Ember Shard. If I pass another eight hours to refresh the dungeons, I'm going to be that much closer to becoming a full vampire. Oh, that last death sucks. That's the one thing that's going to kill, kill me. <clears throat> Being a vampire is going to suck. There's no sunlight in dungeons. What do you have for ingredients? Oh, uh, well, right now, nothing. What are the cure? Oh, if we find uh, hawk feathers. What are the negatives to being a vampire? You don't go outside and most drug or use frost spells. Huh, I guess so. Thank you, kind sir. The drain spell is going to save you. I mean, we'll roll with it. If it ends up progressing, I do want to stop it, though. I don't like the health debuff. River Revivify, thank you for gifting one. Obsessed, thank you so much for the prime. Appreciate everybody. Thank you all for making this such a fun time. Honestly, this would not be nearly as fun without all y'all. You're all very fun. Jibbles, thank you for the prime. Let's get back to it. Did I up the death counter? Are we at three? Yeah, we're at three, aren't we? health I am going to take health again we're going to do the same setup stuff that we did we just waited our 8 hours I am going to give myself the uh, salmon just so that we go in without having to deal with hunger right away Thank you, kind sir. Ember Shard should be reset. I'm also going to make sure that we type in the command we did before. Reset interior and then PCB. Reset interior, PCB. I have no clue what PCB just did there. Fuck it, we ball. Do you stream Fallout ever? I haven't in a really, really long time. I'm very much looking forward to playing Fallout again, though. We've just had a lot of Skyrim projects, and I kind of wanted to just commit to Skyrim for a while until we could knock off a really good amount of the Skyrim projects I've wanted to do. And there's still more Skyrim projects I want to do. Deliver me thine equipment. Is that orcish? Ooh! We like it. Bandit women of the hammer shield. Okay. All right. Sounds good. I didn't realize the bandits were so progressive in Skyrim. That's what I'm talking about. Why did I not take any clothes? Hide armor, boots, helmet. Yeah, let's just get, get kitted out. A 
a gold bag. You know what really cost me was taking the gamble potion. Potion of gambling just stays ruining my run. Oh, they take away the gold bag up there. I love that little guy. That's my favorite little, little gold bag. Yeah, well, time to wake up. No key? Don't break it, come on. Oh my god. We gotta get a good drop here. Yeah, still not great. Come on, salt pile. She almost got me with that power attack. That was close. Falmer armor? It's heavy. We'll take it. Salt pile, about time. Banded iron. I think we want to take that over the shield we have now. So now we've got more heavy. Oh, this is not a good look. Ow. Finger of the mountain. I don't know if that's a difficult variant. They only have a dagger. You have, oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> hey, it's a poison dagger. I have no healing potions. Can these five potatoes save me? Oh, no way. Don't set me back, please. Please, I just got here. so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. No way. That's a tough one. I mean, that's not as bad as the others because we just... We weren't really gone that long. However, another eight hours towards vampirism is bad. We're the only people... Let's go. I tried to give the believers a chance. Hey, what's going on now? Hey. Shh. I got to redo this. It's probably an extra hour as well. Probably closer to nine. Lucan, we don't... Reset hunger. Buckles, do we? When Back to where we were. Customers was quick save, quick load. Dungeon should now be reset. Hmm. All right. I'm locking in. Don't talk to me. I'm busy. Come on, bitches. I'm pissed. Oh my god, I might die. <laughs> he almost... Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> I love it. 
get the attack off. What am I doing? Cancel the gamble. We're done gambling. And once again, I hate this game. I don't like this game. I tried to be too cool there. I lost one gold. Worth every right. sept. We love Ember Shard. Ember Shard is home. We hate Ember Shard. How will I feed my family? Why is he attacking your corpse like that? So with the death mod that we have, I think that there's Okay, for some reason. Oh, I did it again. I messed it up again. Uh, with the death mod I have, since it doesn't technically kill the character, the player character, I don't think that the NPCs recognize the player as dead. So they just keep attacking. Dang it. Wait the fuck. Uh, it's just the one guy. It doesn't count. It's got to be both. There we go. Did I count that death? Die for that. Oh, don't don't you dare weaponize Rocky against me. How dare you? Rocky, how could you? Boots, gauntlets, helm, fur armor for now. Really? We're down to iron? Unreal. That's okay, I'd rather die a couple times in Ember Shard than die in the next one. I'm not going to, though. Can you play the cool music again but not die in an idiotic way this time? Okay, look, I love Hades, but I think Hades just might be bad luck. I don't think they like me. Again, rest in peace, little gold sack. Any shield? Oh. This is getting bad. This is getting really bad. One tap is kind of crazy. Wait, health 60, magic of 15, stamina 45. What's going on? Internal injury. Is that why? Do I have like an injury that's been stacking upon itself? Is that what's happening? Fuck off, Lucan. Yeah, that's what's going on. I got like a crazy internal injury that's been stacking. Just reset to a completely new character? Hell no. I am not going through Bleak Falls Barrow again. <laughs> no way. Now, so the internal injury that comes from Blade and Blunt. We don't sell silver buckles, do we? One of the cust And I'm not sure 
I'm not sure how long it takes to get rid of an injury that big. But I am resetting it. That's uh that's kind of destroying me. No. Your sister, we do not. Hmm. My game's about to crash. I think maybe we should. Dear sister, we talked about this sort of thing before. We sell drivers. More, oh nothing God. less. This okay, okay. Dear sister. We talked about this sort of thing before. We sell dry goods. More, nothing less. Okay, okay. Say what now? Dear sister, we talked about this sort of thing before. Lucan, Lucan, please! Ah, God. <laughs> More, nothing less. Of course, Lucan. Lucan, help me, I'm dying! That's really not at the top. Of okay, if you only had four seconds to live, what would you do? Oh, no! The salmon! Lucan! By the gods! Never mind. This can't be happening! <laughs> Lucan loves me. Not the guy who saved our golden claw. Get out of my way. Camilla, I've always loved you. And I of course. By the gods! Just... This can't well, be happening! Never mind. I can get out of this. Camilla, really? You don't have better things? No! I just want to get on top of the table. Okay, okay. Just trying to make this place a little Okay. All right. One more for the road. Well, just a quick one. We need to reverse a little bit. So I think that the vampirism is lowering my health so much that it kills me. I think I am going to have to cure my vampirism. Gods, this can't be happening. So if I sleep for 24 hours, I wake up and uh If I sleep for 24 hours, I wake up, it looks like the vampirism debuffs my health even more, so when stacking with the internal injury, it just kills me. I think Hulk Rogan is done for. You just want me to go through Bleak Falls Barrow again, don't you, you sick psycho? It doesn't look like internal injury is a spell. We could look that up. Oh, spell. Critical injury. Let's try player dot remove spell critical injury. Critical injury not found. Injury effect. These are all just messages. The only spells that show up with injury are injury cooldown. Not found. I didn't remove the injury either. Shouldn't it be a magic effect? Does that appear? I think that still appears as a spell. I would think it still appears as a spell. Maybe the spell is called injured. Well, let's just do injure without the E. Critical injury, minor injury, waiting for injuries, followers injured. These are all spells. There's spells that are just called injured.
All right, you guys get what you want. There's been a faction asking for Potion of Cure Disease. I'm taking it. And look, I still have the, okay, I still have the internal injury. Damn, how long does that last? We're just going to keep doing this until hopefully cured. I need a little bit of a reset. Like, I've already lost all of my stuff. At least let me get my stats back. I worked for those. I'm going to assume, though, that it takes, like, a week in-game. Jesus. Blade and Blunt's not fucking around. I'm bedridden for like a month. No, I don't think I have to. Oh, God. If I have to level up to get rid of it, that's annoying. I don't think I have to. That's a different mod. Unless the injury is being thrown at me from ashes. Oh, what in the... Why was that on? God damn it. Why was that? Mm, I'm annoyed. I am officially annoyed. I am not cheating. Okay, the game has been cheating me the whole time. Let's get one thing straight. I've been cheated. We're back at it. I'm gonna level up an Ember Shard and get rid of this stupid ass injury. And then I am never dying again. Oh my God, look at how fast my Magicka drains. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, please, man. Have some respect. Oh, my God. I'm stuck. Woo! That was close. Just let me level up. Destruction. Come on, destruction. Oh, wait, hold on. Since I just died, the skill's at zero. It's not going to go up. You're going to die for that. I'm going to rip you open. Damn it, Rocky. Do your job. Thank you. Good boy, Rocky. Now, fastest level up for me is going to be sneak. We're just trying to reverse the nonsense that the game has thrown at me. I will accept zero hate. I am not cheating. And look, it's a good symbol. Our little coin purse is back. Should be the perfect place for us to level up. Let's just make sure we're getting sneak XP. Of course not. Nice and quiet. Nice and easy. Sneak XP? Still not getting any. Would really appreciate some sneak XP. You know what I bet I could do? I bet I can go into ashes. Main. Mod activated. Disable. It's resetting the fucking settings. It's resetting the settings. God dang. So 
so it kills me? <laughs> what the hell is that? But I disable the mod so I die? What is this? This mod just wants me dead. It even has. <sighs> okay, I've set this to eight hours multiple times and it resets. It's all good. We're just investigating. Okay, we are playtest. It set it back to eight and zero. I have God mode on. I turned God mode on. I actually turned it on that time, so I died. Might as well just remove the mod at this point. No. It is, it's it's kind of critical to how this has played so well today. Um, But I am... I'm just going to cheese a level up. It's really all I can do. I think it's Marksman. Yeah. Yeah, whoever earlier said that uh, you might have to level up multiple times to remove it since it's stacked, you were correct. So we'll do player dot remove spell. Injured not found. 187. Nine. Okay, it's not finding any of these injuries on me as a spell. F, no. Two, 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 three. One, four, O. Oh. Eight, one, three, two, two. Two, three. Two, four, not found. Two, eight, not found. Sorry, I just have to check. Nine, not found. The fuck, man. One, four, zero, eight, six, four, two, B. Okay. Now time out. Simple injuries off. You are all my witness. I have turned it off. I don't know why this one doesn't want to save or stay. We have turned it off. I have not cheated that much. All right, only a little bit. I've only cheated to fix it. I don't know how many times it's saved, but I'm saving again. Okay, we're back. Oh, sweet. And we get rewarded with running Ember Shard again. You know what? At least it's not Bleak Falls. I'm happy about that. Now, come here. Come over here and die. Please. Let's just, let's just business.
Wonderful. Thank you for falling in line, soldiers. Orcish Warhammer, not bad, but not what I really want. I'll take it, though. It's best in slot. Good call. I forgot I had God Mode on. But I didn't use it for that fight. All right, I played that fight clean. Part of the punishment of dying is having to bug fix the uh, game mode. Huh? You can't win this. I hate the hammer. I don't understand how a shield bash does that kind of damage. Power attack? What is Moonstone on? Is that Elden? No lockpicks. No way. Oh, wait, there's a key. Right? Isn't there a key on the table? No, it's just clairvoyance. Can I get through? God damn it. I'm already getting screwed out of my first, you know, decent uh, chest. <laughs> yeah, let's go for it. Let's bonk him. Or let's get bonked. off, man. Okay, now kill or bonk. Lockpick, perfect timing. For helm, heavy armor, so we'll take the shield. We'll throw that on. Or not. We'll just grab it. Scroll of wizard fire. That's worth a shitload. Definitely want to have that. I definitely don't want to use it either. If we hold on to that, then by the time we get the Dramora merchant, that'll be big. Nothing in there. I like garlic. I like taters. I like tomatoes. Smithing skill book. Not a whole lot else in here. Oh, what am I saying? There's a couple decent loot spots right as you get out. Oh, there's two? We gotta just make sure we take out these two. Destroyed that guy. Couldn't hit me. You know what? You know what? Let's go with the one-handed mace. Like, I've never used it, and it's kind of satisfying to just bonk him on the head. Unless I die here. Dildero's back on.
Gems and money. Another really solid scroll. One more. Oh, I thought that was my only lockpick. All right, we're back. I'm having fun again. Well, I, okay, I'm not really having fun because it's always a bummer when we have to go through some troubleshooting. That wasn't really fun troubleshooting like the last time when we tried to reset this dungeon. We'll get the momentum back, though. <laughs> Good thing I saved. But I do know the commands. It's uh, help. Guillermund is what we got to type in. So we can find the cell ID. Reset. Interior. And then the cell ID, which is A5A71. And then we enter the command PCB. Now just to double and triple check that this is going to work. Save our game. Load that same save. Why not write a text file with these? Well, I, I, I just kind of learned about the commands today. Ooh, 104. Nice. We needed it. Keep stacking. Silver amethyst ring is massive. Why do I always check the same urn like twice? Like, I kind of, without fail, always check the same urn. Ooh, on an adept? Healing pot? Steel shield, I think I already have one. Let's make sure we at least get it favorited. Throw that on. Decent, decent. Get our bow favorited. I guess I'm running with a steel maze as my one-handed. All right, we are finally getting some good loot luck. That second one is the guy. This one always pulls out frost. Or he's at least a... Yeah, he's restless. <gasps> Does his ragdoll in the water kind of screw him over? Take advantage. Oh, damn it. Got to make sure we get that stun in. Terrible. What does his teammate do? Is he going to investigate? Loadout sucks ass. <laughs> this loadout stinks. Okay, back to the little hidey hole. 
Douchebag is there he is. Yeah, I can't play around with that too much. I swear, this was easier when I came through at level one. <gasps> that didn't make him go floppy. Again, if the Draugr can cheat, then I don't see why I can't get just a little bit of leeway. You guys are all very unforgiving. Nice. Restock our arrows. Upgrade our bow. Do not let that kill us. Again. Uh, zero. One, and then two. I don't know why I keep doing the password when the door's been open every time. That's the guy we want to ragdoll. Incredibly close call. As soon as they push through, when you just get caught in a slow animation, or if you miss an arrow. Okay, he's gonna struggle for a second here. Take advantage. We're back. We're so back. Okay, all right. It's official. Tell your friends. Tell everyone. Let them know. Ring the bells. Alert the common. The commoners. The common folk. Alert the... I, I don't know. Uh, your bannermen. What do we call them? It's just put out, put, out the, put out the word that we're back up. Isn't that Stringer Bell? The wire. Every now and then, they just like to take the key away from me. Opinion on ramen? Love ramen. Haven't had it in a really, really long time, because I've been, well, I've been trying to stick to keto. I've been cheated a couple times the last few weeks. But... Love ramen. We're gonna go Dramora Merchant now. So we meet again. Can you, dude? Okay. <laughs> Never oblivion me like that. Why is your face? Why is his face texture so, like, realistic? It's kind of uncanny. What? How? I was distracted by your beauty. You can't just leave me like that. <laughs> Who does that? Okay, all right, fine. You don't want to see me win? No one wants to see me. I get it. I understand. I wouldn't want to see me win either. Worth every septum. I bought three 12 packs of ramen and I've never enjoyed a food more. Well, it depends on how are you preparing your ramen. That's an important, hey, that's an important thing. Okay, he goes frost. Yep. Yep, classic. Of course he does. Oh, no, and he's already on me? Can you guys give it a rest, please? Well, we are. We're going to bamboozle him. Okay, step one, launch your phallic arrow. Step two, overrun target, return to advantageous position. Step three, await dumbass when they arrive into the critical position. Step three, profit.
It's important. You have to wait for the intersection of dumbassery and pathing. I gotta start using that attack more. Okay, it, that's just like a thing. <laughs> when I bash with the bow, it just sends things flying. I know it might not be intended. I'm using it. I don't care what y'all say. This is vanilla. This is an intentional mechanic of the challenge. This is just part of Dild Arrows. <gasps> this is gonna be sick. Yeah, yeah. How you like that? Yeah, how you like that? How you like them apples? All right, that's a little too overpowered. Oh, but it is fun. One down. Again, why did the dragger walk back into this hallway? Why do you guys keep doing this? I need one of you to go through this dungeon right now. Report back. Do the dragger just always walk into this hallway? All right, boss room. This dungeon is a lot smaller than I guess I anticipated or assumed. We have some summons. What do we have? Pull from eternity. Cast on a corpse to capture its ghost. Cast on a target to release the ghost to attack for 40 seconds. I think I'm going to try to solo the boss. Because we know it's not the actual boss encounter. It's just a... It's an upgraded Draugr. Overlord's pretty good. And I'm almost out of arrows. He can't follow me into the next room. That shot might do decent damage. Let's make sure. Am I full health? Not quite. He's not going to be able to follow me into here. All right, so a combo of Orcish Warhammer, that's probably best individual damage output, 23 versus 14. We swap between bow for ragdoll, hammer for hitting. High potential of one shot with that sword though, it's enchanted. We got one. We go two, he's not getting that shout off. Actually, I think we just go flames and then back to bow and bully him. Just like that. Back to bow. No, wrong attack. Yeah, we'll have him here. This whole, this whole dungeon sucks. I'm surprised that triggers the animation for the door. That's interesting. Because you would think that that door is triggered by a quest stage. Unfortunately, he doesn't drop the amulet. We lose the amulet, which is a huge buff to stamina. That's a good. That's very, very good. Okay, so we can add, we we can cut some things out of here. Let's get rid of that shield. It's too heavy. Bring in minor blocking. Damn, I'm 25 pounds over. Okay, Orcish Warhammer. Sorry, you gotta go. Favorite that. Drop that. 
Now we're 15 pounds under. I actually have to grab that shield back. Okay. All right. It only took like an hour and a half of troubleshooting. Dildaro's does 500 damage. Uh, it does, but the arrows themselves suck. Like the, uh, the actual Reekling Spears, they suck. But I'm feeling good. Okay, I'm happy again. We're back. Let's bring the vibes back. We're caught back up. Skillbook on shelf? See, that's the energy I need. Now I'm feeling good. I'm feeling happy. I'm back in. I'm locked in. Let's do this. It's been long enough. I'm tired of this dungeon. We got screwed earlier. Okay, I was debuffed. Didn't know it. The game was lying to us. It was full of nonsense. Poppycock and bullshit. Let's do this. Where are we at? Not quite. No, no, not what I'm looking for. Let's... You, off my staircase now. Oh, that is a brutal fall. Bounce off the head. Almost got me. She almost got me there. What did she try to do there? She tried to pull off. She tried to pull a fast one. Okay, the dog is not in the cage. That's a bad sign. Why? Is he in the walls again? We go like this. Here's the move. Uh, she's a little too far. We want her right on that oil slick. Doesn't matter. Let it rip. Okay, hold on. That did not do nearly enough damage. Mage right behind her. Mage is about to pop through this hallway. We gotta keep falling back. They have frost. If we can get this mage, yeah, they're, ooh, they are catching up quick. Okay, get to the top of the steps, prepare arrow. Don't miss. That mage is shooting a lot. Just please die. Oh my God, please hit the arrow. <gasps> please die. Finally. That was my last arrow, too. Is this cold? I just want to be through this dungeon. We, I just want to get to the next checkpoint. I get to the next checkpoint. I am golden. Health. No more stupid decisions. No more, haha, oh, I'm so good at this game. I'm gonna do something creative and fun. No, only boring, straightforward Skyrim. That's it. Give me the book. Trash. Now that we got that set up, out of the way, we might be able to just set this up because now it's manual activation. Over encumbered from a potion, what? Huh? 
Oh my god. Please work. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I was nervous. Like, I, I didn't want to activate this and then be We're stuck in this hallway with the guy. If you ever feel safe, just know I'm out there. Excuse me? Oh no, wait. No, 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 this can't be how it goes. Thank you, kind sir. I need this body. At the very least, I know that this holy thing is gonna protect me. It's my waffle of defense. It'll protect me, oh holy waffle. Maybe they'll run out of arrows. got an oil slick back here but no that's just gonna corner me worth every scepter you wouldn't be stuck in there with him he would be stuck in there with you okay they're pissing me off Nice try. Okay, let's just avoid them. Let's run away. Let's get the master lock, hit the loot chest, and then move out the back. They're probably going to lose aggro by the time we go back there. It's not worth it. Two archers is kind of a tough matchup. All right, hold on. Let me focus in. What in the... F what's going on? Nice. I love XP. How do I not get I didn't even get it to like tick once on the master lock. I mean, I guess I'm the furthest I've ever been. Today. It doesn't feel like it though. No, what was that? It was me. It was me. Who the fuck do you think it was? That's all they got is dog. I gotta be careful. They might do some good damage with Orcish. Stumble.
one lockpick. If, if I can find any more lockpicks, I do want to go back to that master lock. We can get a level up in here. Which I will be taking. Of course, I have two perks. Why am I not spending my perks? Have I been getting yelled at the whole time about my perks? Daniel, good to see you. Thank you very much for the prime. Do I need more health? I feel like I'm running out of stam, so we're gonna go stamina. Why the hell have I not been spending my perks? Okay, we need some confidence in block. I want some extra damage with our little, you know, our little phallus bombs. Take another heavy armor perk. Let's get some extra defense sure up how much damage we can take that is not our respawn point uh the mod just doesn't want to you know the mod doesn't want to play nicely can i get a master lock with just one lock pick i'm gonna try it i think i can do it i just gotta lock in it's not that hard what does this button do okay this is good lock picking music. No. You gotta feel it. You gotta sense it. Actually, it's not good lock picking music. It's terrible lock picking music. I need to just. I need to be the lock. If I was a master lock pick. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. That feels. That just feels right. Okay, maybe it's the reverse of it. I don't, not quite. Uh, God, I hate this game. And then the archers caught up to me. Button time? Is there a button in there that opens that door? How many archers do these pricks have? Oh my god, how did that fall? What hit that? That's okay, we have uh, healing potions. Honestly, I might have overcorrected for that. It just scared me. Hurry. She's closing in. Don't take the tankard. Mmm. Nice. Big time. I think I already have the frost enchantment unlocked, though. Where do you think you're going? You're so lucky. You're so lucky. You bet your, your AI just let you back right into the right spot. Don't act like you knew what I was trying to do there. I can't play around. She has decent damage. I'm glad I came back here. And an archery skill point. Mwah. Trap, I'm dead. 
I'm not. Oh, crap. Holy crap, they're smoking me right now. I really don't like Faldar's tooth. Have I ever told you guys that? I just gotta place one of these perfectly. And then they Dildaro themselves onto the trap activator. Oh, I hit one of them. They're doing great damage. I need to get out of here. Let's try Ritual Stone. There you go. Get out there. I'm tired of doing all the work. Lockpicks. Uh, do I really want to go back though? Seems like a pain. We're building up a decent collection of spears. That I do like. Yeah, let's get the lockpick. I have to. It's a master lock. There's going to be decent loot. Creepy. Really creepy. Why is it so uncanny? Asper, have a good night of sleep. Thank you. Apologies, chat, for sort of just like extremely locking in to try to get to this point. I wanted to catch up, make a little bit of progress, because we did fall behind with, you know, bug fixing and all that other nonsense. I'm, I'm ready to have fun now, though. Two arrows just hit me. Got to be careful. Third arrow just hit me. I need that spell to be better. I have too much health and I take too much damage for it to take that long to heal. God damn, good shot. These guys are just all over the place. Like, I'm getting it from all angles. Although it is really good right now. It's the right strategy long term to get XP. Now, please. I have two lockpicks. I can do this. No. Come on. Probably where I said no, isn't it? I thought it was moving. I thought it was moving. Shoot. Is there a button to get in here? Got to be a key or something. No button. I can't even take the gold. I'm getting in there. I don't care. 
I need another plate. I'm getting in. I'm too stubborn. I have to. I I, I gotta get in there. I'm going. I'm going in. Perfect. Perfect. Two perfect candidates. Wooden plate and a basket. I'm getting in. That's not gonna work. It's not gonna cut it. It's not the right basket. There we go, that's the basket we want. And fuck it, I'll take this hide shield as well. Get out of here. You're trash. Okay. I quit. <laughs> That's not going to work. I'm not sure if it's a safe room after this dungeon. There might be one really, really small one. But I'm going to push through just so that we can get the hell out of here. I am over it. Even with so many things going our way now, like with checkpoints, not losing all of our skills, all of that. Have you ever seen anything creepier? I mean, that's weird. That is ugly. It just looks wrong. Imagine my ghost stepped on that trap and killed me. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Wouldn't it just be so funny if I was in severe gamer pain? Diamond bound? I think those have decent uh, damage output. There's bear traps in here. Yeah, that sword was going to hit hard as hell. That's right. I forgot. Okay, so this, if you do have smithing stuff, this is a decent point to get to. Can I upgrade? I guess I have a silver ingot, but I don't have that silver armor. We got some steel armor. Nothing really. And I'm out of I'm out of lockpicks. It's just, just so brilliant. It's just so mmm. Mmm. I love it. Uh-oh. Whoo! Forgot about that one. I really struck out here. In terms of loot, not good. That was bad. I mean, we're alive. I think if we get through here, we get to the next checkpoint. It's really all I care about. Get me to a checkpoint. Give me some loot. Give me something good. Terrible. We skip the boss in there. Zero interest in it. We actually haven't found a Dramora merchant. Let me know if you see anything you like. We made it! Checkpoint! Finally! Now we're back. Fuck you, Skyrim. Every I'd even trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Oh, finally. Oh, that felt like it took ages with all the bug fixing and whatnot. So we can go there, there, there. Give me some of those. Give me some of that. Give me some of that. 1485? Actually, we're doing pretty good on money. My gear sucks, though. 
Ring of Minor blocking is not bad, although I'm not really relying on block too much. Up to 1800. He's got a backpack. Might be worth just buying the backpack. Mage backpack's pretty good. Increase your health by 30? That's good? It's good, and we could disenchant, but do you have a potion of gambling? <laughs> do you have, but do you have a way for me to waste all of my money? Mm, okay. We could increase health, reduce stam. Increases health by 50, lowers speed by 15 points. I don't know if that's any good. Because my speed is how I dodge. I lose my speed, I can easily get surrounded. And 50 health isn't that much. Mermere, thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Yeah, I, I think if I... I would be tempted to take this if it was 100 health points. If it was 100 health points and 10 points of speed, then I would take it. That's a huge buff in your, like, natural health. Luckily, don't have any diseases. I might take a pass on these for now. I'm wearing a ring of blocks, so I'm not going to take the ring of minor health. I think I'm going to take the necklace of health. 30 point buff to my health immediately. That's pretty good. I'm going to take that. Plus, if I have an opportunity to, I might disenchant it. Having that enchantment in our repertoire could be decent. Oh, I forgot about these. I forgot about my scrolls. We're back up to 1500 gold. And then we take... Decrease heal rate, increase max health. So on survival, that's just a straight buff to health. Thank you, kind sir. How about the Apprentice Stone? Does he have spells? Sparks, prepare for adventure, and candlelight. He's got some of the worst spells possible. That's a good call. I'm going to take the backpack. I'll take the mage backpack. Hunter backpack. Hunter backpack gives a buff to our bows. I'm going to take that. We'll take hunter backpack, throw that on. Get the necklace on there. Carry weights up to 250, 30 plus, plus 30 health. You just let me take a look. I should be trying to get food for the road, but he doesn't really have much. I don't want to take clumsy speed. It's a bit too fast. I think it breaks up the flow of the game a bit too much. We could take knockback, but then it breaks our <clears throat> it breaks our health. I'm missing a helmet. I don't have a helmet. We'll take iron plate because it's cool. Can't afford knockback anymore. I'm down to a thousand gold. No good weapons. Bellathor, you kind of suck. He doesn't have anything. Like he's got the, you know, potions. But nothing in here that really sticks out to me. This one's kind of crazy. Potion of the Greybeard's time between shouts reduced by 75%. You would have to have unlocked shouts in order for that one to be good. But if you reduce shout cooldown, that'd be really, really good.
Clumsy speed plus the plus 50 HP potion. Wait, yeah, if you think about that, increase movement speed by 100. But then you come down here. And you lower speed by 15. That gives you 50 health. And 85 plus movement speed with, you know, the small chance of tripping and getting yourself killed. Remember, I'll give you the best it's kind of a risk holding on to a thousand gold, but I'll risk it. So I need to be able to sleep in here to actually set my checkpoint. Is there does anybody know if there's a command to set a bed to no longer owned? Like if I, ooh, I guess I could help bed. Couldn't I do this if I really wanted to? Couldn't I just layer dot place at me my bedroll? Yeah, I can just place a bedroll at my feet with commands. How much sleep do I need? Done? Alright, then I guess we'll just sleep for four hours, set our spawn point here, and take our checkpoint. Please do look around. I'm sure I have something you'll want. I am hungry though, and he can't I can't cook here. Skill book? Wait, why do I care if he gets pissed off at me? Oh, I might die and have to come back here. Yeah, let's not piss him off. All right, abandoned prison. We keep moving. Now I'm feeling good again. I'm back on top. I'm on a little hot streak. We're playing well. Everything's coming up Millhouse. I'm even finding food. And we're getting decent loot. Oh, great. Yeah, there's the backpack. Glad I bought one. Of course. I don't remember abandoned prison. This This is definitely a quest place, isn't it? Oh, wait, I have been in here. Guards orders. Really good loot, good food as well. Take the horker meat in case we can fry it up. Yeah, when we came in here on our like busted run, our scuffed run. It's a handful of ghosts. And then there's like a ladder on the other side of this room. Let's get him before he gets up. Why is a ghost taking a nap? And why does a ghost have so much health? I gotta use block more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so like we jumped down there and it took us out of here, but I think there's more loot in here if we stick around. There's like a couple pathways back there. We got a key. I want to investigate this place. Exactly. Boom. Dwindling shock. Another target for disenchanting. Okay, that did a shitload of damage. I got a bail. Let's hit him with a little bit of this floppy sauce. Top of the stairs. This would suck. Imagine being a ghost. You're just chilling in prison. 
Like, you're already a ghost, so you're dead. But your task as a ghost is to haunt a prison. Like, you're in jail. <laughs> you're in the afterlife, but you're also in jail. And some guy just shows up to bully you. This would suck. Gotta be the worst way to go. Like, having no chance at all. Ah, uh, see, and then your body starts contorting. You can't control your limbs anymore. But is the thing with ghosts in Elder Scrolls, when a ghost dies, they are being freed? Is it something like that, or am I just making up for the fact that I'm wasting these ghosts? That was dumb. Now, there's something up with the hammers. They don't really have that much range. I should have at least taken one hit there. See, we just didn't come this way last time. Another backpack! Why? <laughs> Finally, I buy one. Now I just get handed backpacks. Come on. A master lock and the best you can do is 47 gold? Crazy. It's just insanity. K23, thank you very much. Have a good day. Have a wonderful day. Hope everybody's having a good one. Health... Stam. I think we go Stam again. Tired enemies have a harder Thank time you defeating your share. armor. 20%. I do like the heavy armor tree. Especially that one if we lower their stamina, they do less damage. Because if I had some kind of enchantment, which I want to say I disenchanted a weapon that drained stamina. Maybe not. But if we had one that drained stamina, that'd be very, very good. I want to say that this next round to the safe zone is easier than the last one. Oh, Frost! Yeah, Frost Enchantment already does that. Thank you all. I knew that. I knew that. I was well aware of that, actually. No, I 100% I knew that, which is why I'm going to recharge it right now, because it's very good, and because I knew that. Why am I sprinting into a fight? Oh crap, wait, we've been here. Okay, it's Robo Boys in here. We've got Roly Boys. A few other things. I want to say the first time we came here, we just ran through it for the most part. Oh my god. How? How? How does everything still have so much goddamn health and do so much goddamn damage? Enough of this. No. Back. Away with you. Go. Yeah, yeah. You know what's coming with this arrow, don't you? That's why you back away. You're afraid of me. Come on. Oh, that was close. Tell me the fall damage kills it. How's there no fall damage there? Actually, with the robots that we encounter, I think the spiders will go hostile to the robot. 
I need that spider to follow me. Come on. You're my new friend. Come on. Oh boy. Come on. Come on, boys. Let's get, come on, let's go. Oh God, I didn't expect you to be that close to me. I hate it. Their legs and the noise and the. This is a bad idea. Oh, this is a terrible fucking idea. Did the spiders even show up? Oh, you've got to be kidding. Come on, y'all. Y'all! Enough. Enough. Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's talk about this. Of course you resisted it. Why wouldn't you? That's a lot of damage. And I have no stamina. Uh, and I used like all my stamina potions just so that I could run around a fort a little bit easier. Okay, we stand here. I thought he'd fall off the ledge. Not bad though, we kind of bamboozled him for a second. We can hit the loot chest. Oh yeah, give me all that cash. I'm not, I'm not running away. Just FYI, I'm not fucking leaving. I'm not running away. Oh, they have no rag dolls, which is wild. It is kind of cool that they have a natural resistance to my most powerful attack. It's not cool though that they do a ton of damage. Yeah, yeah, I might be screwed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop it. Enough. I'm out of stamina. We have some healing potions. Which may be able to keep us alive. I'm not running away though. I'm winning. I'm winning this fucking fight. Talons of Nern. What the hell does that mean? Whenever an enemy in the area is staggered, a spike of rock erupts from the ground, tossing the target and dealing 150 stamina damage. Only stamina damage? Please don't die. I have no speed around the corner. Go. Okay, I'm running. I gotta run away. We cast that. Now we should be able to make them stumble with Dildaros. I don't know if it did any damage. Oh my God, I don't know what the hell it's doing. Go, just go to the door, go to the door. Ignore all the alteration XP. I'm out. Fuck those robots. Yeah, chill about the, uh, chill on the helmet. We'll be okay. <laughs> we'll be fine without the helmet. Look, if, if the armor is not going to save me, I don't know what the helmet's going to do. Now we can take a nice little break. Okay, it's a bandit dungeon, everybody. This is gonna be easy. Everybody say hi to Jabo, by the way. Wave, be nice. And a Jabo, we love Jabo. How are you, man? Hello, Juve, please do not equip a helmet. We'll do Ink Demon, thank you very much for gifting one. All right, this is gonna be a nice chill dungeon. It's just bandits. This is why it's time for just some nice calm ass kicking. Ooh. Ooh. What the fuck is that damage? Yo, I had low health. It's all good.
Ooh, he's stuck on a pillar. Oh, 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 yo, oh, oh, ow. Okay, all right, all right, you got a little one. Ooh, that's a long combo. Dude, do you ever get tired swinging that thing? No stumble. That's crazy. He didn't almost kill me. He did not almost kill me. That was completely. I was completely. That, that was under control, okay? The happy music is playing. Everything is under control, okay? The happy music is playing. I am completely fine. The happy music is playing. Relax. Okay? It's just casual ass kickery. And look, who can forget Dildaros? That was a lot, that was a fuckload of damage. What was that? What'd you shoot at me? Actually, almost had an angle with that arrow, but it wouldn't matter because, again, happy music is playing. I'm fine. Uh. Thank you, kind sir. What's this? Actual gameplay? Where's the riveting juke training montage I'm here for? Oh, you want to do more bug fixing? We can do that. We can, We should do more bug fixing. Here's your helmet. Wait a minute. I bought a helmet. Yeah, my bad, chat. <laughs> Everyone's yelling at me to put on the helmet. I bought it earlier. I don't look cool. Whatever. I don't want to wear that steel helmet. I don't care if it's got better stats. Invisible. Yeah, we don't like those archers. Nice boots you got there, conveniently ignoring my dope ass jewelry. He's going to power attack. Okay. Didn't really work out for him. Let's just, oh my God. Okay, is that not fair? Is that too good? I just love it. It just looks so funny. Like it's Fusro Da, but it's packed into a nice little convenient punch. And it's like a real nice fuck you to the NPC. They still do such like really high damage. You little bitch. That was a nice shot. I hate this hallway. You know what? I'm going the other way. I'm going the other way. I'm going to hit them from the flank. I'm going to go around here. Sneak up. I can get up there. Oh, pfft, easy. What is that? Is that the next dungeon? Did I just speed run the challenge? Hell yeah, I'm taking it.
Jebo's YouTube's was a rat. Juve's would be a young Breton boy. It is, uh, <laughs> you're not far off. <laughs> Uh, no spoilers, but you're not far off. <clears throat> it's, um, it is a young Breton boy with his, uh, his friend named Rocky. No spoilers. That's all you get, though. It'll be a while. You'll forget by the time it even comes out. All right, what are we doing here? Oh, I hate this dungeon. This one is just where the ghost, like, he... Oh, I remember this one. Yeah, they, there's a little boss fight in here. Shit, this one's hard. Okay. Okay, I'm ready for it. Born ready. You think I'm scared? Check behind. Ooh. Claire. It's just so good. Fuck you. Like, this is a tough way to go. What would you do if this was you? If this was you when you were dead, like this, what would you say? What's the first thing you say after you get three spears right in your face? Like I said, I don't like this ghost. He's a dick. No, oh, yeah, just step on the same trap again. I forgot how this puzzle works. That's a trap. It's that new age trap that they put in the game that's actually kind of hard to see. Are you for real, dude? Oh, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah. My stupid wall. Come on. Where do you get off? You're covered in moss. I'm covered in the blood of my enemies. Thank you, Colin, sir. Two months along. I hope it comes out in Nord. Come on. Bring it. Let's go. Not afraid of you. Tell your friends. You think I can hit this? Ooh, do you think I can hit this shot? Just short. You have to arc it so much. Hallways, it's tough. Okay, that was just trash.
Got him. Okay, if you aim directly at the ceiling, you can get it about 30 yards. Which is about uh, three-tenths of a football field. Just to put it into, like, measurements that most of Twitch chat can understand. Hold on, Restless? All right, we can kick a Restless ass now. That's good. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Which way? I forgot what kind of trap it was. Let me know if you see. <clears throat> I forgot what kind of trap it was and just ended up in a scenario where his shot was gonna hit me. That's okay. That's all right. That's okay. I, oh, ooh, 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 wait, no, 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 no. The next few dungeons are gonna suck ass naked. <laughs> I can't, I can't fight the ghost naked. You understand how hard it is to fight ghosts naked. I'd rather just beat Bellathor's ass. You know what I am? I'm gonna take it out on you, Bellathor, you little sack of shit. Help me! Yeah, call the guards. They can't get here. They have no way to access this place. That's the best you can do. Right now? Yeah, kinda. What about you? You- Is that all he can do is furrow his brow? Why didn't she swing back? No. Not like this. Victory is yours. I submit. Okay. Well, put the stop showing up as a red dot. Uh, <laughs> I'll show you have a shitty inventory during my challenge. 1000 bounty out. Help, murder. Where the fuck do you think you're going, Seagard? Uh, at least you fight back. I can do ah! Who screams like that during a fist fight? Is yours. I've never, not that I've been in like a, you know, an intense knockout session. But that does just seem like strange behavior. Not bad though, kind of a risky play. If you think about it in terms of the actual, you know, challenge we're on, not a terrible play. You cannot sleep while being asked to leave. Um, okay, well, fuck you. How about that? I guess I could technically sleep in the abandoned prison and it's not that big of a deal, right? Like, I could just add the bed right here. Yeah, and then I can sleep here. Although, eh, it doesn't, it's not gonna reset this place, will it? I get my level up. It's actually pretty good. I gotta go health. It's the reason I died. Not because of my incompetence. It's a nice little bonus. Nice buff to restoration. I'll probably have to do a little bit of, you know, magic to get us back into this position.
Thank you, Colin. But I am going to go for the day. Uh, we're going to keep just it a little bit shorter today. Vote for this, loving it. Mainly so I can just keep the energy. And I have a meeting. I have to meet with Isaac and do a couple of things. Oh, Royal Trinket, God. very kind of you. Way to end it on a high oh, note. God. What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zerabar. Royal Trinket, thank you very much for gifting five to the channel. How are you? Good to see you. Sugar Ray MC, good thank to see you. you Stick around. Sure. Let's raid out. Uh, let's send it over and, uh, you know, be, you know, supportive of somebody else uh, over on the Twitch internet sphere. Jared Barrett, thank you very much for two months. Royal Trinket, Sugar Ray, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Sugar Ray, love that username. Every morning is a halo hanging from the corner of my girlfriend's for postman. Shut the door, babe. Don't say a word. Kind of creepy ad living on that song. Kiba, thank you for the prime. Let's, uh, let's raid out. I appreciate y'all. This has been a fun one. We're probably going to do one more of this in the current version that it is. So let's try to make it really, really far next time. Especially since we have a character that is kind of progressing along. Who is streaming right now? Who is live? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Bulu is doing no pixel. Jimmy is doing... Okay, I'm going to send you guys over to Jimmy because they are doing a really cool RuneScape uh, community thing they've been running the last couple of days. If you're not into RuneScape, uh, that's too bad. I'm sending you over there. Remember to be kind, be respectful. Do I hit start raid? Is that what I do? Yes, that is what I do. They're doing a cool, like, community thing. I haven't been following it too closely. Um, but Jimmy's super dope. Remember to be kind, be respectful. Don't be, uh, you know, don't be a butthead. Don't be spamming or nothing. And, uh, that's it. We'll talk later. Appreciate y'all. Have a good week. I'm not sure when we'll be live again. We're going to do one more of these, but I do need to focus in on the next video project that I want to have done by Sunday. So we'll talk soon.